What's up, everybody? Welcome to Table Stories Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> God, I guess it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Hi. I, I can't remember what that's from, but there's like a... There's an iconic picture meme that, uh, that has that look in it. And uh, I think my brain tunes it out because I generally hate memes. Uh, mm. What? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, I'm kind of not them. a meme person either. That, well, listen, okay, Boomer is the only appropriate response to that. <laughs> yeah, seriously, memes. What do you hate? Fun? No, I, <laughs> hate, I hate memes. I don't like them. <laughs> he hates joy. No, we just prefer notice. actually funny and creative yes. things. Correct. Well, that's what memes are. No. Yeah. What the heck? I can't stand no. for this. Can't relate. It's okay. Uh, let's see. Minus uh, 50 points for Gryffindor. <laughs> minus 50 points for Hufflepuff. No! <laughs> Please stop memeing on us, Wack. <laughs> <laughs> we now need to turn Wack into a meme. Everyone's best memes that you can make of Wack from this show. Post them on Twitter. Please, Let's please, go. Please, 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 please. Wack Baby We're gonna Yoda. We're going to lose the please. house cup, Marvels. Wack Baby Yoda! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say whack baby Yoda? Yeah. <laughs> I have control over the points of your houses. Yeah. I'm not afraid to minus. I'll do the yeah, teacher in case thing. You didn't notice. We don't care about our points. <laughs> <laughs> so Nega was just like. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, everybody. If you haven't seen the show before, we uh, we are we have a good time here. We we're. Uh, we're in the Harry Potter universe. Um, we are playing a system called Witchcraft and Wizardry, named after the show because hell, I made the system. Um, and you can you can play it yourself um, if you'd like to. You can head on over to TableStory.tv/waw, which is also where you can get uh, clickable links for all these wonderful people. Um, and let's go around the room. Let's introduce them and their characters and say hello. And uh, if you missed it, um, we are missing Colo today. Um, she uh, had some personal business to take care of. Um, so we'll see her back next week. Uh, but we're going to be missing her for today. Um, and uh, it's sad. We're sad. We just got Zagatakis back. And, and Colo had to take uh, take the day today. Um, but uh, welcome back to Zagatakis. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Much, much better. Good. Much better. Good. No longer... It was bad. But all the love that I got from you wonderful people made it uh, easier to bear. And here we are. I have returned. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Well, let's go around the room. Let's do our intros and introduce your ca uh, characters and where people can find you and what you do and all that good stuff. Luxy, would you be so kind as to start us off today? Is it because I was dancing? Yes. Um, hello, I'm Lexi Games. I'm uh, constantly, uh, and I didn't mean constantly, I meant currently, currently photoshopping wax face onto the Mandalorian. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not doing that, but somebody said they're doing that in chat, please. Um, sorry, I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Um, we are currently doing a playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. I stream, uh, it's my first time playing it, so I'm super stoked. And I stream uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, Sundays, Tuesdays through Sundays. I Welcome to Streamer okay. Brain. And here I stream. I play Rosalina, who is just as ditzy as I am right now. Perfect. Um, thank you so much. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Loxy. Murgles. Hi, uh, I'm Murgles. I'm uh, an animator and storyboard artist uh, by trade, professional whatever um and uh sometimes i stream on twitch at murgles dot tv murgles and um recently i've been doing some art for the show which has been great uh gonna keep doing that and um so come on by if you like and that's me thank you very much i'm playing clem <laughs> End the pain. End it, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Thank you, Margos. Uh, Nego Oryx. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Naga Oryx. I am a uh, full-time variety streamer here on Twitch. I do a lot of single-player story-driven games and a lot of The Sims 4. Uh, and I love Harry Potter, so we do a lot of Harry Potter stuff on my channel, including an epic house cup right now, which Hufflepuff was winning for so long. And I am so proud of Hufflepuffs. Good for you. Hufflepuff never gets to win anything. So, uh, hi, hello, I'm playing. It sounded um, like a really backhanded compliment. <laughs> it is not at all. Hufflepuffs have had the hardest next? time in my channel. And I'm not even a Hufflepuff, and I'm rooting for them. Every time somebody gives points to Hufflepuff, I'm like, yeah, you go, little puffs. You get and it. have the, like, win. <laughs> Bless your Actually, heart kind of vibe. <laughs> it is. Well, okay, I don't, I don't mean it that way. But we have an incentive for the winning house. I will be doing a little cosplay photo shoot of a character from that house and we actually picked Rosalina for Hufflepuff that all cosplay Rosalina at uh, Wizarding World here in <laughs> we decided it yesterday so and obviously I'll do I'll do Olive if Gryffindor wins duh but uh but yeah I digress I'm proud of you if you're Hufflepuff I just I, yay Hufflepuff love hi I'm Olive Everglade and it's good to be here thank you for having me Thank you so much. Zagonicus. Hey everybody, I'm Zagonicus. I'm a role player, Twitch broadcaster, podcaster, general lounge about Twitch and the internet and, and say nice things on occasion. That's kinda of who I am. I play Alexander Pippin and he is a, he's a eccentric, reckless, obsessive Ravenclaw and uh it's, it's been so much fun, so I, I'm so glad to be back, okay? I'll just say that again. Thank you all for being so nice once again. It was it was really touching. It was rough. <laughs> it was a rough couple of weeks. I got the flu, and then immediately after the flu, I got a secondary bacterial infection and, and had to go on antibiotics and all the rest of it. But I'm finally feeling better, and I'm ready to uh, magic, magic it up with all of you. Thank you. We're happy to have you back, buddy. We're happy to have you back. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's time for some magic. I am Wax Steven, and I will be your uh, headmaster of doom. I'll be dragging the players, kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Um, and uh, things have been shaping up to be very interesting. So Zakonicus hasn't uh, been able to watch the last. Uh, few episodes as he's been away and he's been so sick he just hasn't been able to watch um so i want to sort of keep that part of things uh still a secret for him because i want him to experience them as uh as things sort of uh occur today um and uh as far as your suggestion that you sent me zagoticus um I'll leave it up to you based on how it starts, okay? Um, I feel, I feel, I feel like it probably won't work. Okay. Okay? Um, but it, it hasn't been too long since you, uh, in-game time-wise, um, since the, the group uh, sort of had a little bit of a break. Um, it's been uh, essentially just the, the afternoon and part of the night um, from, from when you, uh, sort of left off with a group that, that student, um, Ray Kapin Ray was, um, walking into the wall and you were trying to investigate and you ran off to class. That was the last time that you were up, uh, up to speed as to what was going on with the, with the rest of the group. Um, so let's get started with today's episode. Um, what I'd like to do is to start today's episode um, with the hospital wing as three members of our group were headed to the hospital wing to, uh, well, to follow up and find out what was going on and what happened to Olive as she was missing from her bed. Maisie, Clem, and Rosalina, you had run into Mrs. Nanny Brooklyn 
as she was scouting the school, you convinced her to get Madame Pomfrey and uh, get Maisie looked at. We're starting today's episode as uh, Maisie's sort of getting uh, placed into a bed by Madame Pomfrey. The two of you are there. Um, and uh, Madame Pomfrey is addressing Maisie, who's uh, pointing out that uh, Olive is, is nowhere to be seen, and that um, both Ray and Sebastian have awoken, and it appears that they are no longer under the effects of this um, strange thing that was going on. So Maisie um, is sort of like pleading with Madame Pomfrey, um, Olive's not here! Where did Olive go? Ah, she's doing that sort of frantic, um, rapid speech talking thing that she does. And, um, it, it's, uh, Madame Pomfrey's, oh, all right, dear, it's all right, sit down, lay back, lay back, all right. But, but, me, me, Olive, Olive's gone, and, 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 um, 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 I don't know where she is. And can you help? And, and Ray and Sebastian are both awake. And, um, um, it's all right. Lay back. Let's take a look at your knees. Your knee's still hurting. It's fine. It's fine. Ow! Ow! Madam Pomfrey's just kind of like poking the knee a little bit. It's all right. Lay back. Lay back. All right. Now, huh? she sort of, Maisie gets sort of like tucked in like way too vigorously. You know, she's like a, burrito inside the bed um and uh madame pomfrey sort of says oh. where did your friend go she looks over starts like trying to look around the hospital wing and um she's still has ray and sebastian that are still like strapped in and they're sort of begging her off in the distance to like let her go um or to let them uh let uh to have her let them out and uh madame pomfrey still sort of puttering around checking on everything in order um she's investigating what's going on uh with olive's bed if perhaps she might have gone underneath the bed or is hiding someplace, and Olive is nowhere to be found. She uh, sort of unstraps Ray and uh, Sebastian and checks them out. Um, Clem, you and Rosalina are still by Maisie's bed, I assume. Um, and Maisie says, I can't come out. You're going to have to find Olive yourself. I think I'm trapped here. Okay, uh, okay, um, uh, well, what should we do? Rosalina, what should we do? Um, uh, well, probably leave. Yeah, let's, let's leave. Wait, um, where would Olive, where would have Olive gone? Well, like, where was the last place? There, we could check the wall, and yeah. we could check, um, the kitchen for some mash, or yeah, we could check the, the library. library. <gasps> that's a good idea. I think if we both said it at the same time, that's clearly yeah. a good vibe, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. All right, okay, well, then cool. we have to check the library, but first the wall, and maybe the okay. Mash. Yeah, we could just hit it in that order: the wall, right. and then the mash, and then the library. But don't hit the mash because then it'll splatter and it, it it'll be on the floor, and we don't want to eat yeah. mash off the floor. Fair. But I would. Okay. I need mash off the floor. Yeah, but you don't have to. There's infinite mash. <sighs> Not a thing of beauty. Okay, yeah, let's go. Olive. Okay. Yeah. We we've got to find Olive. She could be. She could be a ghost by now. That's. What if we get caught again she could though? Be what if we get in Hogwarts trouble? As we speak. Oh my God. What if she is a ghost? That'd be kind of cool, honestly. But do you know where the fat fryer is? No, 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 no. I don't know where he sleeps. Maybe in the kitchen. Yeah. Kind of seems like he would sleep in the kitchen, but I don't think we need him. Let's just go. Oh, God. Are we going to get caught again? I think we might get caught again. I don't what know. I think we kind of like... What if we take some sheets and we cut little holes out of the eyes? 
<laughs> I think that while that would be a good idea, I think also maybe not. Um, okay. Should we? I don't know. Do you think our luck is still out? Like, do you think that we will get in trouble again if we get caught? Probably, eh? Like, our, what kind if of our we excuses. Talk to Madam Pomfrey. What if Madam Pomfrey sends us on a mission to find Olive? Because technically, Madam Pomfrey lost Olive. Yeah, she would not want and to be she caught. Feel very guilty. Yes. She would get in so much trouble with Madam the headmistress. Pomfrey. Madam Pomfrey. Madam Pomfrey. Yeah. Madam well, you know, hello, Madam Pomfrey. Would you like a snack? She's, I have a she's over by like Sebastian and uh, Ray, oh, sort of. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm just gonna Rosalina's waddle on over just there. Yeah. The I'm just gonna go over to her. Yeah. <laughs> um, Madam Pomfrey, I have a question. You know how maybe on accident, because it's so late at night, you lost a student. Our dear friend Olive is missing from your bed. It's um chocolate chip, by the way, if you'd like it. What are you doing? Well, we are very worried about our friend Olive, and we know how important it is for you to stay in the hospital wing. So yes. we were wondering if maybe we could check the library, the last place that we saw one of the students walking around. Yeah, we Just think that case. she's there. I we know her very well. I think if you go back to your rooms. But then who will look for Olive, Miss Madam Pomfrey? Who will look for Olive? There's like a shadow that starts to like slowly encroach in your space. Like you just see the shadow like start to cover both of you. Like the moonlight's coming in, but the shadow slowly like looms overhead. And overhead you can see the uh, towering body of Mrs. Nanny Bucklin oh. overhead. And she says, <laughs> Him! Hi, Ma hi, hi, Manny! Miss Bucklin, um... Our friend is missing, and we we think we know where she might be. In the library? Do you think that maybe you could come with us? Because we're very worried about her health and safety, and if something help it happened to a student on your watch, wouldn't that be bad? And you'd need us. You'd need us to find her because we're because super we close to her. Exactly. We yeah. can basically smell her from a distance. Who, yeah. Who is trying to make the convince roll here? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure, Rosalina. Uh Do I have a plus one because she probably doesn't want to get in trouble. I don't think so. I think it's just a regular <laughs> convinced <laughs> roll. <laughs> a nine. All right. So Oh nice. Uh it's a partial success. Choose uh choose one from the list there. Okay, I'm so sorry. Please hold. That's my dad. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself. Um, um, they need proof. Okay. Ooh. When you because try to make someone hear you. library and we prove that somebody was there. Okay. We, yeah. Well, when you try to make someone hear you, either through intimidation or conversation, you're trying to convince them. Um, they need proof of what you're trying to say. Um, hmm. So, she sort of, like, looks around and she says, sort of mumbling under her breath, Wouldn't be good to lose a student in the first week. Hmm. No. All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to come with you to the library. Okay. You're going to be quick. And if you find anything, you let me know and I'll take a look. I can't have you wandering about the school at night. For sure, for sure. I mean, Nanny, it'll be so nice to have you around. I think that, I think it'll be um, safety in numbers and you're so strong and so knowledgeable about the castle. Uh, we could really use you. She puffs up a bit at that, and she, you can see like her cheeks redden a little bit, and uh, she's, she's, uh, she's kind of, I think, sort of barrel shaped, um, and uh, she 
rises up to her full height, which is very tall. She is, in fact, towering over you. Um, and says, Right. Well, let's go. Follow me and stay close. I give Rosalina, like, a low five. <laughs> Behind like her back. Hidden, yeah, like... <laughs> my, my hands had got, like, crumbs of a cookie on it. <laughs> And we just see, like, Maisie in the bed, like, looking over at you as you're trying to do this. And, like, Rosalina, like, gives, like, a thumbs up or something. <laughs> and Maisie's, like, she's all burritoed in the bed, though, so she can't make any any, any gestures or anything. Um, she just makes kind of a happy face. Um, and uh, you can hear, like, um, Ray and Sebastian sort of, like, um, saying... Uh, uh, I think probably like, like saying like, okay, I'm okay, you know, like just, uh, just checking and uh, checking in with Madame Pomfrey. They're sort of just acknowledging the fact that they're all right. Um, Madame Pomfrey sort of giving them like a thorough investigation. Um, Can I run over and give Madame Pomfrey like a really tight hug and say thank you so much, Madame? Yeah, and you can just run back over to Nanny. It's probably like a pop sound that happens, you know, like you just like, popped her hip out of place or something. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like hip as fixes. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, out you go. Madam, P probably by the time you leave is when Madame Pomfrey realizes that uh, someone hugged her. Um, and off you go. Um, we switch scenes. Um, <clears throat> Alex, it's the middle of the night, and um, what wakes you up? Hmm. 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 Maybe. Maybe Benny. If I've been neglecting him, he might be at the tower window or something, giving it a good rattle. Okay. Yeah. So you, I think you do hear your um, your owl Benny. Um, there's probably just like a uh, a little bit of a. I quickly grab a bag of like like spare bits of sausage and stuff that I keep just in case he comes bothering. I go to the window and Benny, go here, quiet. And put a little. Stop it. Here, like eat up, good boy. And I give okay. him some little pets. Yeah, there's just like a like a, a vicious chomp of the of the sausage as uh, and eats it up. Here, a little bit more, but so you'll get fat, and then you won't be able to fly, and you won't be very good owl. Okay, so just and give him some scratches. Good boy. I'm looking around at the other beds, just making sure everyone's undisturbed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, notice something for me, please. Okay, a six. A six. So, um, you don't notice some things that are going on below. That'll be just fine. Good to know. Thank you. All right. Um, so yeah, you feed Benny. Um, and, uh, you're like wide awake now. You do that thing where, like, you wake up in the middle of the night and it's just completely awake as if you had, like, a, a big cup of coffee or something. Yeah. Like, you'd scoot off now, Benny, and I'd take a bit of salt and I'd just flick it out into the night and then <laughs> pull the window closed as he flies off after it. Just hear, like, the... The, the the gliding towards the uh, towards the meat and um, snaps it up out of the air. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take a walk down into the common room then, rather than okay. lying about awake, see if I can, I don't know, maybe use up some energy reading or something. Alrighty, into the common room you go. Uh, let's head on over here. Ravenclaw common room, which has a lot of books, big, comfy, worn sofa, and um, uh, cozy fireplace. Um, everyone's pretty much asleep. Uh, there's no people that are kind of just, um, in the common room. You're the only one there. Yeah, I, I'll, um, let me just check, actually. I don't have it. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just, uh, head over close to the fire. Is it, is it lit? Is there... Um, yeah, it's probably, like, enchanted, so when people enter the common room, the fire lights up, I think. Good, yeah, I'll head over there and see if a cozy fire will help me find some sleep again. I'll probably just reach out and grab a random book. Okay. Um, what book do you think you grab? Um, probably... Probably uh, a book on magical creatures. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, magical creatures throughout Europe. Yeah, and then I, I just flick it open to a random page, and then... I just get to reading. Okay, what's there? For a little bit. What kind of creature? What does it look like? I think I'd probably open it to stuff that seems interesting to me. So I, I probably subconsciously go all the way to like werewolf or something like something cool and flashy with claws and does cool stuff. Okay. Yeah, you see different kinds of werewolves and um, and whatnot. Uh, you can see that there's some references to, um, like, American werewolves compared to European werewolves and something called a loop guru and um, they have a whole bunch of various information on it. Um, and uh, does, this, does this, like, freak you out at all? A little bit. I, I take a glance out the window to see what the moon's like. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, yeah, it's waning slightly. Okay. I think that means we're safe. I'm safe. I'm by myself. <sighs> Close the book, put it back on the shelf. <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely. Give me another uh, notice something, by the way, when you went to the window. Eight. Okay. There's something going on outside. Um, way down below. Um, just outside uh, the castle proper on the grass. Um, what questions would you like to ask me from the notice something? Okay. So I get one out of... Is there anyone or anything sneaking around? Did it seem dangerous? How do we get out of here, or what did it look, smell, sound, feel, or taste like? I think anyone or anything sneaking around. Oh, yes. There's definitely some things sneaking around. Um, you see a few things outside. There is a sort of uh, weird shape um, that's on the ground, uh, and you can see what looks like a student. Um, it's kind of far. I mean, you're way up in a tower. Um, I think if you had a full success, I'd give you, like, full details, but um, there's something kind of 
glowing that's with a student that's down below. And you can see something kind of big um, making their way towards the student uh, down below. Um, sort of running across the grass, heading towards the student. Um, I, I grab my wand and I, I, I cast Limos just to try and get people's attention that stuff's happening. Okay. And I start yelling at... Give me the, a. The, we need hello. a. We need to cast a spell. By the way, we need to cast a Limos spell. is in my spell bank. Excellent. Partial success. Okay, the spell succeeds, but there are side effects. Choose two. That makes sense based on this situation. I, uh, I think certainly someone or something is alerted to the casting of the spell since I'm panicking doing it. And um, my wand is thrown from my hands and lands nearby, I think, because I'm panicking and like trying to get attention. And... Okay. The wand falls from your grip. flying out the window as you're sort of waving it around. <laughs> Sails down. Down below. Oh, Outside, no. we switch scenes. Olive. <laughs> There's something big moving towards you in the night. It looks really, really scary. I would like you to try and show courage, please. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. No, so, so, on a six, a six or below, the situation feels beyond you. You cower in fear, running from the fight, and take minus one forward when challenging it. So, you broke your wrist um, last session, mm -hmm. and everything's been a bit overwhelming. It's your first week, and you're a first year. You're still 11 years old at this crazy place and so many crazy things have happened um it's all kind of overwhelming and it hits you all at once and what do you do i think it's just too much at this point like she has not been able to resist this the influence of this ghost repeatedly so it's her first week at school and she's being like manipulated in ways she obviously was not expecting at 11. Um, and I think she is going to stop what she's doing and her fight or flight or freeze instinct kicks in and she freezes and she doesn't, she's too scared to run and she's too scared to actually be like courageous and stand up for herself so i think she's going to kind of like cower down next to the uh next to the floating ghost and she's just going to repeat to herself under her breath it's going to be all right it's going to be all right no one's going to hurt you no one's going to hurt you it'll go away it'll go away just wait it'll go away Sound go gets away. closer and closer. It'll go away. It'll go away. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt you. Warm, and she's gonna... warm breath just like hits you in the face. You can wow. feel this large presence uh. right next to you. She's gonna try and see what it is. You open your eyes slowly. And in front of you is a large... English Mastiff, beige, and has a sort of black muzzle. 
<laughs> licks your face. Right, like the tongue is the size of your face. It's way too big. It's way too big. Uh, I'm going to check and see if it's wearing a collar with a tag. It is it wearing like it is wearing like a big like uh, leather collar. Like it's not like a regular kind of dog collar. It's kind of like a big, just a leather collar. You can also see another big shape heading your way. Sort of, it looks like someone's running over towards you. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay, um, I'm going to try and... Looks like a really big person. Yeah, I'm going to try and move quickly and quietly with the ghost to get away from this situation. When you turn around, the ghost is no longer there. Oh, this does not look good. I'm going to I'm going to panic and try and quick and quietly or quick or quietly book it out of there. <laughs> I'm going to try and uh move still in the direction of the the greenhouses actually. She's going to still still go there. Okay. Try and be quick or quiet, please. I should mention I have a minus two to body <laughs> rolls right now. So. Um, so, you know, I don't know if that was the best choice for me, but I know my uh, Gryffindor house trait. I have take plus one forward to all body rolls for one scene once per day. So I think I'm going to use that here to try and balance that out a little bit. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but. A seven. You move quickly. Or quietly, which is it? Uh, <sighs> quietly. I'm gonna bank on the fact that it's dark right now, and if I can be moving quietly, hopefully I can uh, be sneaky. Oh yeah, this dog is following you. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> You're I'm really quiet, under... <laughs> but the dog is following you. <laughs> I'm being really quiet, and under my breath, I'm like. Please be quiet. Every time the dog breathes, you can feel like this jet of hot air. Like, the dog is way too big, even for an English Mastiff. Uh, I'm gonna see if I have any, any, uh, food in my pockets or anything. I'm gonna just kind of pat my pockets and see if I have any, like, treats on me or anything that I might be able to throw to, uh, to, hmm. uh, I think this is a convince dog. roll. Convince. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's try that. <sighs> okay. A partial success. Uh, All right. Okay. On a seven to nine, you choose one from the list there. Uh, I'm going to say I don't want this dog to be terrified of me because that would break my heart. So I'm going to say the one that makes the most sense is they go along with it for now. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you pull out from your pocket? Um, what you got? I think she she would have pulled out something that uh, Rosalina would have given her as like Rosalina's always giving her food, and sometimes she's just not hungry, but she loves that Rosalina wants to be her friend, so she always says yes no matter what. It's always <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Yes, I would love a cookie. <laughs> um, but it's just because she's so happy that Rosalina talks to her at all that she doesn't know how to say, no, I'm not hungry. You've overfed me today. <laughs> so she has a lot of weird and random like treats and snacks. So I think she would probably find like a pancake, like a flattened <laughs> and squished pancake that maybe has like half of a butt imprint on it from where she sat in it earlier. I, you and have a butt imprint on a pancake. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, it's very fluffy pancakes, Black. And she sat on it very hard. And uh, uh, I think earlier they were making, like, pancake burritos or something. So she had materials from that left over. So she's going to kind of fold the pancake. And uh, since the dog is following her so closely, she'll kind of waggle it in front of his nose and then toss it uh, back over her shoulder to try and get the dog to run away from her. Okay. Um, yeah, the dog just kind of instantly looks like at the food 
and every breath is just, <laughs> you know, just like pushes you back physically. Your hair is like. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep moving quietly forward and hope that I threw the pancake far enough that the dog is distracted for a minute. Sure. In the distance, you kind of hear like. Where did that bloody dog go? Dudley! Dudley! Dudley. And she's just gonna keep moving and she's just gonna, like a mantra, like she's saying it to keep herself safe because she's 11 and she feels like it'll help and she's just going, please don't see me. Please As you like me. are walking quietly, all of a sudden out of the sky <laughs> falls a wand right in front of you. <laughs> it has, it, the tip is illuminated with a Lumo spell. And she's just going to instinctually kick it because it's something falling out of the sky and it's bright. She doesn't know what it is. <laughs> just kick the wand. And she's going to look and see. I don't know how far she threw it, but I'd like to kind of see what it is, if she can recognize that it's a wand now. Oh, yeah. I won't make you do a roll for it. It's a wand. <laughs> it's lit up. You can try and recognize it, though, <laughs> with a, with a either uh, probably an investigate is my guess. Okay. Let's, let's investigate that and see if I recognize the wand, maybe. All right. <laughs> that sure uh, is a pointy stick. <laughs> yeah. No idea whose wand this is. Um, Olive is going to try to... She realizes that she just uh, yelped out loud very loudly, so she's going to go... <gasps> and just quietly reach for the wand. And because it's lit up and she's trying to stay stealthy in the dark... She's going to hold this wand, that is definitely not hers, and try and cast Nox to try and get it Ooh, to go out. Okay. I think, uh, go ahead and try and cast a spell. This is a minus two forward. Okay. Uh, Nox is in my spell bank, so I can still use it for my spell bank, but just add a minus two, right? Yep. Okay. Wow, an eight. Okay. Yeah, so you uh, get to have some side effects. Choose two, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to say I think that the... I think that the wand knows that that's not the owner. And she's fairly competent at the spell, and I think, like, the wand can't deny that, like, she cast it correctly and it has no problem going out because it it's not like she's trying to do anything bad with it, but it uh, kicks back because it recognizes that she's not the rightful owner, and it tries to, like, protect itself from anyone who's not the owner using it, and so she feels something where her hand's on the wand, she feels something, like, pop into her wrist and kind of fizzle up into her. And it's like she just hit her head, like she just, a current shot through her and she feels dazed from uh, whatever the wand did. And it startles her so much that uh, she drops it. Okay, yeah, shock. absolutely. We see a, <laughs> the wand just kind of like, <laughs> Um, starts to fizzle out uh, the light. Uh, it's two side effects. So the wand is thrown, and what's the other one? And then the uh, the dazed uh, condition is what I'm taking. Okay, yeah. I think in this case, there's no other players around. Yeah, absolutely. You can sort of take the dazed condition. Um, there's a jolt that sort of travels up your arm, and uh, and it uh, you feel a little weirded out by the whole thing. Feels weird using somebody else's wand. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Let's try to not do that again. Um, she's not going to be saying any of this out loud because she doesn't want to draw, draw more attention to herself, but Olive kind of thinks it through and thinks that 
she should probably pick the wand up and try and find out if Hogwarts has some kind of lost and found or something, uh, or like a if she can give it back to a prefect, but she doesn't want to leave it outside. So she's going to move quietly towards, you know, patting around the ground. It's really dark out, so I assume she's kind of struggling to find where it went, but she is determined to pick up this wand and return it. Absolutely. Up above, Alex, <laughs> you see somebody like pick up the wand, kind of like wave it around and it kicks out of their hand. The Lumo spell turns off and they, they sort of deluminate, right? Like you don't know what's going on. The light is gone now. <laughs> Very quiet. We can't hear you. I'm just looking around the common room for any sort of light source I could use or even like a candle and, and maybe like a, a, a platter someone left that I can try and I, I, I'm trying to find something to I need to see what's happening mm. yeah um, absolutely there's candles around definitely okay yeah I grab a candle and I'm like leaning it far out the window as I can and realizing it's having zero effect on the ground very far away. <laughs> I... Oh no. Um, <clears throat> Hello? There's this barely audible noise that sort of is uh, traveling from somewhere. I don't think you can hear exactly where it's coming from or what happened to Olive. Um, give me a notice something. Let's see. Maybe. I'm going to say you have a minus minus one forward. This will be with your relationship with Alex regardless. So okay. on top of oh. that, a minus one forward. Oh, gosh. He's pretty far away. I already have a minus two to my mind right now. <laughs> so. Ooh. You don't hear it at all. I dropped my wand. <laughs> You're being way too quiet, Alexander. She doesn't seem to notice it at all. I don't want to yell any louder in case I wake anyone up. I'm I'm gonna be continuing to move forward. I'm I imagine Olive is so frightened. She this is probably the first time in her life that she's just broken a bone, like away from home, away from her parents. It hasn't been treated. She cast a curse on a ghost and then the ghost disappeared out of nowhere she's being chased by a dog like i think she's not hearing anything around her right now mm -hmm. um so she's just gonna keep moving towards the greenhouses and under her breath again she's just trying to calm herself down and she's repeating give me another uh, quickly and quietly roll oh no oh yeah oh no <laughs> <laughs> I, w I was lucky to get it the first time. I don't know. The same scene, so you still have the plus one from your house benefit. Correct. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. And um, you have a minus one <laughs> from your relationship with the dog. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, That's okay. so sad. So, uh,. Probably as you're trying to sneak around and head back towards the greenhouse, there's a familiar feeling of the warm breath behind you. Dudley? Dudley? I'm, I'm trying to be quiet right now. Could you please, please try and be stealthy with me? Okay. Shh. Looks and you I'm going right to in the face. Of... Just drool. A... <laughs> Olive, Olive loves animals, so this is very difficult for her. She kind of like gives him a little scritch on the chin, and then taps his paw, and looks at him, and like exaggerates moving quietly, like she's trying to demonstrate how the dog can stealth with her. He's, he's just following you around. Like, as you're trying to demonstrate, he's just following you. <laughs> Shh, no, Dudley, like this. Like this, okay? Shh, shh, shh. Why? 
Oof. Dudley, Shh. is that you? Dudley, where'd you go? Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Um, can, can, can you just be quiet oh. for one moment with me, okay? Oh. Very, very quiet. Oh. Dudley. Oh. Dudley. And then he's not listening to you at all. <laughs> like, he's just doing that dog thing. He's just happy to be involved in the conversation. Um, <laughs> And uh, it just it does the, the it does the angled head look, and then um, you see this very big shape heading towards you. How far Ooh. am I from the greenhouses? Pretty far. You have to walk all the way around the uh, north tower there and past the Whomping Willow, or you could go through the courtyard. How would you like to do it? Um, Olive. Upon hearing the footsteps getting closer and realizing that Dudley is not on Team Stealthy, she is going to drop to the ground <laughs> and sprawl out with her head at an odd angle and with her arm at an odd angle and is going to pretend to be passed out. Okay. Dudley walks over and starts licking you. <laughs> And she's just gonna wait. <laughs> Get it, Dudley. Oof. Dudley. Oof. Dudley. Dudley. Um, one more quick and quiet roll. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna say you have a minus one forward. So that Dud just balances out to nothing because I have the plus one forward, right? Yeah. Wow, okay. So, uh, I'm assuming you're trying to be uh, quiet here in this case, right? I don't think you can be quick and still. No, she's definitely trying to be quiet and feign that she's passed out. Okay, right. Uh, upon this happening, uh, Dudley sort of like trots off. Olive's just going to keep her eyes shut and keep her head on the ground and try and listen. And she wants to hear if the footsteps are still coming toward her or if they're retreating. There's no because... footsteps. I mean, it's it's out on the grass, basically, outside. Uh, again, depending on which way you went. Um, which way did you go? Did you go up north, like around the castle towards the greenhouse? Or did you go back into Hogwarts? Um, I'm gonna pull up the map really quickly because should be visible I've... to you on the on roll. Oh yeah, right I now. just I had my character sheet covering it. Ah yeah. Um, so I would assume that she went. Oh gosh, she was so far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I <laughs> I would assume she went north. Okay, so uh yeah, you went probably around the north tower. Um, so you're probably over there someplace. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fair enough. Um, so out on the grass, you don't really, like, hear any footsteps. Um, we switch scenes again. Alex, it's pitch black out. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on. I'm looking at a candle and thinking if it's a good idea to try and throw it out the window or not. <laughs> I'm going to go with no. <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, take the candle and I'm going to grab something heavy from somewhere, maybe, uh, maybe like a, a, a cup or another or, or a candlestick holder or something. And I'm, I'm going to head for the exit because I need to get my wand and okay. help the person from the werewolf. So, you head out the exit of the uh, the common room um, past, like, the secret entrance uh, with the password and whatnot, and um, uh, out into the corridor as you go. 
Um, and, um, okay. The, uh, the entrance opens up, and you head out into the castle at night. Did you, did you say you're bringing a candle or something with you? Yeah, candle, and then the heaviest looking object that I can carry mm-hmm. for self-defense. Okay, sure. Absolutely. Uh, it's probably like a candelabra of some kind. Either yeah. that or they have a, a poker for the fireplace. Fireplace poker, sure. Okay. Out you go. Into the dark castle um, with your f- with your fire poker and a uh, candelabra. Um, out you go. By yourself. How does this make you feel? Uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I but um. Oh, I need to get my wand back. And, okay. And, yeah, so I, I'm I'm heading to the direction I saw the glow of my wand when it disappeared. Hmm. Okay. Uh, make a quick and quiet roll for me, please, first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, as you're sort of descending the stairs, um, you bump into so many things along the way. There's like tapestries and like various ornamentation and things. You do the thing where like you accidentally like bump into the wall and like something scrapes along the wall, you know, like some like hanging ornamentation or something. It's like a, you know, like scraping along the brick of the castle and makes like a horrible racket. And it just like echoes. Um, throughout the throughout the uh, corridor down the down the uh, stairs. <sighs> Ooh, like I pull my arms in a bit closer to myself and and continue on. Okay, uh, down the stairs you go. Um, are you heading for? Let's see. I can't remember. Uh, is the North Tower the Ravenclaw Tower, or do they have one that's actually called the Ravenclaw Tower? I wanted to say I thought it was like, I thought it was like here, if I'm not mistaken. Like it was yeah, right I near had... the the, or was it the Divination Tower? I can't remember. Uh, let's see, Ravenclaw Tower. Let's take a look here. Uh oh. oh. One of the three tallest towers alongside the Gryffindor Tower and the Astronomy Tower. That's not helpful based on this map. That's not helpful. Oh, well. Um, uh, the reason I'm asking is because I'm curious it's, which way you're going. It's in the west. Yeah, I think I think it, it's there in the, in the, in the west section. No, no, east section. Who knows? Anyway. I'd... I'd probably take the most direct route anyway. Okay. Just because I want to get my wand to get back without anyone knowing that I dropped out the window. Checking another one of my maps that I have here. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, I can't find it. Um. Okay. Say it again. Which way were you going? The shortest route possible. Okay. Uh, it's trip, probably yeah. out the front entrance. Uh, like this area here. Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah. Or actually, yeah, the front entrance is over here. Uh, this would be a, uh, by the courtyard over here. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go that way. Just cause 
You know, the closer you are to danger, the further you are from harm. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's how it works. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you're making like a horrible racket all the way. Um, yeah. You can also I, I probably keep like like my arm lowers from the weight of the poker and it keeps clanking off the Yeah, the you can't balance yourself. The poker's a little heavy and you're trying to balance the candelabra. Um, but you can hear there's like some voices uh, down the hall uh, across, well, across the courtyard area. Um, you can hear what sounds to be like familiar voices. Clem, you and Rosalina are being guided to the library by Mrs. Nanny Bucklin. And you can hear Nanny Bucklin and Clem and Rosalina having a conversation about... Strange conversation about... Why would I want mashed potatoes from your pocket? Well, well, you see, the the mashed potatoes are really delicious, and it's like it's they like are. a lunchbox, and you just keep them with you. It's not you a lunchbox; it's a pocket. It's, like a, it's very like a different. Soft la- it's a lunchbox, lunch pocket. Yeah. A box but it's is full just of a hard lint pocket. And, uh, I don't know no, what wait, else. Wait, wait, she... Are you implying, Miss Nanny, that I don't wash my cloak? She's very clean. Lint has lint nothing to do it? with washing your cloak. Well, if you wash your clothes improperly, then they're covered in lint. My dad always told me that. One of them. Because you know I have two dads. Nanny, how many parents do you have? Well, I had two of them. Did, oh. did they like mashed potatoes? Well, who doesn't like mashed potatoes? Big. Exactly, Nanny. Exactly. Who doesn't like mashed potatoes? I still don't want any from your pocket. Well, I guess that's your last. What about a cookie? Cookies can't get as covered in lint as you fear that the pocket mash may be. Or oh, I have, I'm not wait, hungry. I have, I have this crystal, or you can hold my wand, or you can hold I sweet pea. I don't pee. want to hold yeah, anything. There's sweet pea, and then um, I also have, I have a breakfast taco back here. And uh, if you want a scrunchie, I could do your hair. Danny Buckland, how did you end up in this position? How did you end up in this point in your career? I'm I very interested. I ask myself that question every day. <laughs> My dad says I, I want to, when he's parenting me. I, I want to try and get a little bit of a closer look. Okay, sure. They sound happy, but they're out after dark and that's bad. And Yeah, there's, uh, there's wand light that's kind of like illuminating the area that they're in. They're across the courtyard. So you can see it quite clearly. Okay, yeah. Um, um, go ahead and um, try and read between the lines, I think. That's probably the closest. Yeah, it sounds about right. An eight? Okay. I'm trying to understand what someone or something is really thinking. You can choose one from the list there. How do I get them to trust me? <laughs> <laughs> How can I get them to trust me? Oh, you'd have to make up a really whopping good reason to be out at night. That would be very okay. difficult. I, I rush over with poker in hand and candle. Good. <gasps> I need your help. Mrs. Danny Buckland Alexander. almost topples over. <laughs> There's She's like pointing something. her wand like out in the light, like out, out in the <laughs> darkness. It's so good to see no, you. It's just me. Alexander. What are but, you doing out here at night? I, another first year? Nanny, nanny, he's oh, very he's, he's, let, him, let him breathe. Let him say there's something. Yeah. Maybe he's something let him glowing. Breathe. There's something glowing, and there's a werewolf chasing them, and there's a student. And a werewolf? A was, what? And Wait, is that Olive? A student? Stolen. Convince, I, please. Was it Olive? <laughs> Convince. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what? And, and she's... Show me where! <laughs> Actually, wait! Wait! You wait here! Point where it was! I... 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 I there. 
Is that? And and then on uh, we we we'll, we'll going round that and over there. And she's, you stay here. Get behind that door Here's over the there. She grabs the poker. She's got the wand in the other hand, <laughs> and she like, I'm, and she like goes to head out into the darkness, leaving the three of you behind. Alexander, Alexander, was that was that anywhere near the library? It was outside. Did you get a good look? Was it Olive? I, I was Olive. We don't know. She's missing. Why is she missing? We don't, Where? We don't, we don't know why she's missing, Alex. Whoa, 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 wait, that's not true, because we, we think that it has something to do with, you know, the... Yeah, the, the... The, the head... Bad did vibes. she catch the head bumps? We think she caught the head bumps. Yeah. Oh, no. I know. Well, I was just... Benny woke me up because he was hungry, and then I, I looked out the window, and, and uh, later, because I was reading about werewolves, and I wanted to see what the moon was like, and then I saw... There was it, it, some well, is uh, maybe a may may have been a first year. They were they weren't like really tall, and there was a glowy thing. And then I saw a werewolf <laughs> chasing should, after them. Should we go? How do you how do you know? Should we go anyways? Wait, 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 wait. Scary. Nanny's going and I don't have my wand. And you said they were headed that way. So what if we what if we cut them off from the other side? I don't have we my do wand. That? You don't have your wand, but we have our wands, and we also have our friendship, which will protect you. Yeah. That's what my dad's always saying. Right, but I your dad's can right. cast the spells. I only so have a candle now. I gave away my... Do you want to hold poker. my wand? Will it make you feel better? I'm just going to thrust think it into should... Alex's hands. He has absolutely no choice. You just hold uh, on to that, and, and I'll be wandless. It feels funny. Let's just take a second. Oh, very nice. Right here. Uh, because um, myself and uh, Loxy have uh, received wands in the mail um, from Ram Ray in the chat. Thank you so much, Ram Ray. We've got our wands. Yay! Look, there's a crystal in it. <laughs> Mine kind of looks like a pencil. And I got <gasps> it. Did you actually, did you get any, did you get something? I, I did. Something as well? Would you like to read yours? Oh, yeah, can I? Yeah, absolutely. Dear Rosalina, congratulations on your acceptance to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. After careful consideration and analysis, your wand has found you. Below, you will see your wand's specific characteristics and how they pair with your own. Overall, your wand has a very natural design with an intriguing color. These traits complement your muggle heritage. The wand has a rough blade and a rose quartz grip. These elements were drawn to your empathetic and nurturing personality. Hmm. It seems the curvy flow and rosy shimmer are also curious about your clueless and eccentric side. Now, let's take a look at your f physical characteristics of you and your wand. You are laid back and spindly. Likewise, your wand has more weight resting in the grip and an extremely long blade. The reflection of your understanding eyes and kind face is shown in your wand's light, rosy tone. Lastly, your wand pulls on the eccentric powers of rose quartz. This component restores trust and harmony in relationships. Known to purify and open the heart, Rose Quartz promotes friendship, love, self-love, deep inner healing, and feelings of peace. Enjoy your personal wand, and good luck with your first year at Hogwarts. And then there's a drawing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I cried yeah. when I read this. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Um, thank you so much to Ramway. Uh, I got one for Barney. I got one for Barney. Um, and it kind of looks like a pencil. Um... Dear Barney, congratulations on your acceptance to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. After careful consideration and analysis, your wand has found you. Below, you will see your wand's specific characteristics and how they pair with your own. Overall, your wand has a very simplistic design and stylistic color. These traits complement your heritage. The wand has a rounded blade that flows into a six-sided grip. These elements were drawn to your caring nature and hardworking personality. Hmm, it seems that the uncomplicated flow and pencil-like shape of your wand are also curious about your passive and critical side. Now, let's take a look at the physical characteristics of you and your wand. You are small. Likewise, your entire wand is a unique, slim structure. The reflection of your fearless eyes can be seen in the shimmering silver glint of your wand. Lastly, 
Your indifferent face is shown in your wand's coloration from black to silver, then to neutral color tones. On a special note, your wand has a specific pencil-like resemblance because of its enhanced effectiveness for magical communication. Enjoy your personal wand, and good luck with your first year at Hogwarts. I also have a little drawing there. This is the most incredible thing. I cannot it's even. so thoughtful. Like, oh my god! every single aspect of it has so much thought into it. I can't get over it. I'm, I'm going to sob when I open mm -hmm. mine. Fair warning. Tears shed. <laughs> so yeah. big shout out to Ram Ray. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but I thought it was a kind of a good time there. Um, yes. And uh, yeah. So you're trying to, um, I guess, explain everything that's going on here. What the hell's going on? Um, you, you, should, you should keep your wand. It doesn't feel right. That's not very nice. Take my wand and then you'll feel protected. What feels wrong about my wand? Is it the quartz? It doesn't. Wait, can I try holding your wand? Feel yeah, like yeah, mine. you can hold my wand. Does it feel weird when I hold her wand? Uh, <laughs> I'll leave it up to you. Um, I think there's like, you know how like when you try and hold uh, magnets, um, you know, near each other, they either oppose or they attract. Um, yeah. I think there's, I think with it, like tr holding two different wands, there's probably like that opposing feeling. Um, okay. But beyond that, I'll leave it up to you. Okay. I think it feels like, like warm and familiar, but still strange, not mine. Like being at a good friend's house that you feel comfortable in, but you still know that you don't actually live there. And you won't poop in their toilet. Exactly. That's the difference, right? You, you respect them enough wife? not to poop in their toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I can hold on to my wand since nobody wants to hold it. But um, if it makes you feel any better, uh, I'm... Well, no, I can't even say that. I'm not very good at spells, and I don't... I don't think you are either, right? I, 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 I could do a spell. You can do a spell? Then we're safe. Let's go. Come on. We, right, we, okay. we don't have any... Time. Alexander! I'm just going to grab Alex's hand, and I'm just going to, like, we're just going to go because there's no time okay. to lose, and Alex is coming with us. We've missed him. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go along I'm with just it on board. <laughs> like I broke into the Hufflepuff house, so <laughs> I was on board way long time ago. <laughs> so yeah, outside you can hear like, "Where are you, you miscreant? Show yourself!" Is she calling the werewolf a miscreant? Yes. <laughs> okay. So can, can I notice go, something? Is there a way that we can go like around to the other side where? Well, where we I figure think? you guys are about here or so right now on the map, uh, right by the Transfiguration Corridor near the middle courtyard. Perhaps even in the middle courtyard um, when you met up. I don't know. Okay. Nanny Bucklin went out this way. Basically, she went out the the side side door. Okay. Okay. If it's a werewolf, she might need all the help she can get. It, they've got claws and teeth and... Yeah, yeah, of course. The well, dangerous. Well, Alex, which, which direction do you think we should go if Nanny went that way? Should um, we just follow her if she needs help? Uh, we, we, yeah, pro if we follow her, we should be okay. What if we Because then in trouble, she can get eaten cause... first. Oh, Alex! I like you two better than her for now. But what's for what's now. better? If she's in trouble and she's alone and we didn't help her, that makes us bad people. Even if we break the rules in order to help her, it's we're still doing the right thing. Care. You're right. It's You're the right. right thing. Okay, all right. I'm with you. You really don't have to convince me. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Maybe we, we, maybe can... we can just be quiet. Sh Fine. Shall we be quiet? I'm not very good at being quiet, but I'll do my best. I start tiptoeing. Oh yeah, with your candelabra. <laughs> do you have, still have the candelabra? Yeah, I just don't have the poker anymore. <laughs> or the candles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, candles then. <laughs> okay. And they're just wax that's just dripping like everywhere, <laughs> like as he's walking, <laughs> he's left a trail We're of like, wax. Oh, yeah. Huddled in a triangular formation, tiptoeing towards <laughs> Nanny. Yeah, you're doing the thing where, like, each footstep's like, 
you know, um, <laughs> along the along the corridor, trying to you know? follow the voice of, of Mrs. Nanny Buckland. It's not hard. You know She's that? not quiet. <laughs> okay, Scooby Doo. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be just peer peer out from from the door she's just left out of. Okay. Do you see a werewolf? Uh, should I investigate? What, what about the glowy thing? Uh, I don't, I don't see. Wait, should I roll an investigate to see what I can see? It's probably a notice something. Okay. Seven. Uh-huh. Okay, so uh, on a seven, you get to ask me one question from the list there. Something catches your attention and you try to see what it is. Okay. Um, what? Is there anyone or anything sneaking around? Okay. Um, I think you... Uh, I would say yes to that. And... Um, you see Mrs. Nanny Buckland. Um, she's probably like over here somewhere um, as you're like peeking out the door. So just around the the, um, the rounded part of the uh, castle there. Um, you can see her kind of like looking around. She's kind of like creeping around. She's like holding the poker in like a defensive stance. Um, she's looking around. It's like wand and poker, you know, ready for danger. Um, this giant woman, she's just like... <laughs> um, She's ready to kick some ass. Um, and uh, there's like a uh, uh, another shape, another sort of like big shape that's moving. Um, and she says, You there! I it's see you! Wolf. I see you! Come out of there! It's so hair Come out of there! Be careful! I'm ready for anything! And then you see this large... English Mastiff start to like gallop towards her and she says Dudley? Is that you? The werewolf's name's Dudley Alex, I think that's a puppy! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a dog The dog? It's an exceptionally large dog, but it looks like a dog Yeah I knew it was a dog all along, it was just a plan so I could get my wand back Well, Alex, technically a werewolf is like a a dog human, so you are Really wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I knew okay. that. It was part of my plan. Carefully. That's a smart plan. Lead plan. Because well, werewolves we are more see... dangerous than Dudley. We don't see Olive. Do you see Olive? There was definitely a student out here. I, I there definitely was a saw one. Out there. Well, m- maybe we should, should overhear what's happening with the dog and Nanny. Yeah. 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 Let's go help. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you walk over to uh, Nanny and Dudley. Um, Dudley is doing that sort of like thing where he's like almost bowling uh, Nanny Buckland over. Like he's he's sort of like left up and he's got his like big <laughs> meaty body like sort of on her shoulders. <laughs> oh, Dudley, get down. Get down. Oh. Red boy. Good boy, get down! Get down! You're so cute! Oh, that's a good boy! Oh, that's a good As boy! As you get closer, there's this like weird distance size relation thing that happens. Like, they're both huge. Like, they're both way too big. Um, <laughs> you know? And, and Dudley's just a... He's a big boy. Um, is, I mean, bigger than any dog that you've encountered, probably. Um, and but, yeah, he's just kind of like... <laughs> he kind of like uh, hops off of... Uh, Mrs. Nanny Buckland's shoulders and, and sort of like oh, starts to wander over to you, does the thing where like his whole body like wiggles. Hey, I'd like hey, to pa- look around. Sorry. Um, but D- Dudley. <laughs> yep. 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 Did, did you did you did you see the, the glowy thing or are this are the students? There was a, there was. Okay, the dog can't talk. It's just really big. Who's a little bitty puppy doggy woggy so tiny whiny? Have you seen our friend Olive? Have you seen our friend Olive? Can I just pull like some pocket mash out of my potato and just start feeding? You know, like as soon as you go, you know, like when a dog knows you have food, 
Like, as soon as you go for the pocket, the nose follows you, you know? Like, it just kind of... It just... <laughs> I'm just gonna fling my robes open and, and just let let Dudley do whatever they want, have all the snacks they want. Oh, yeah. It's like one, one like, giant slurp of, of your pocket, and it's just... Like, it's just one... He's got a giant tongue. That's I would like impressive. to notice something. I would like to look around further. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, nope. <laughs> yeah. Um. What are you trying to look for out of curiosity? Well, I remember that he said that there was a student out here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm looking for any other human beings around. Maybe I think what happens is you're trying to, like, pay attention. Um, Dudley's so excited about more food that his, like, butt is wiggling, you know, his tail's wiggling, and it just, like, slams into you. You know when, the do <laughs> when a dog is just completely oblivious yeah. and they just kind of, like, don't realize how much mass they have and just wham, <laughs> yeah. like, slams ah. into the side of you? <laughs> And his, his butt is, like, probably up to your shoulders, you know, like, that big. He's a giant yeah. dog. So I I would probably just fall on the ground. <laughs> I want to ride it. Oh, oh. Dudley, be careful. These are first years. Hit, claim, let me... Where's that grid? Get no. Guys, do we have anything that belongs to Olive? Maybe, maybe Dudley can sniff it and then find Olive? He doesn't really look like a sniffing dog, gotta tell ya. Really? Because he's got an awful big snifferoo. I mean, maybe for food. Does Olive have any That's food fair. on her? <gasps> Probably not. She might have had one of the breakfast tacos that I made this morning for Olive would and she... Maisie. Yeah, but any smart person would have eaten that already. It's too delicious. It doesn't keep. They are pretty delicious. Thanks for thinking they're a pretty good snack. Um, but right. maybe she does. Um, so maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, I have just, I have one. Do you have one? last breakfast taco in the back of my no 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 uh, Dudley Dudley I'll make you a deal you can have the breakfast taco if you find Olive who also smells like this breakfast taco so you sniff and you find please convince uh and you have a plus one to this nice. this is a sound tactic all right they hear you and believe you so okay. there's this okay. like look of like intense concentration on Dudley's face as he looks at your as he looks like into your eyes. He's like looking down at you, um, and uh, he starts to wander off. I'm I'm closely following behind. Dudley, where are you going? We we're looking for all of the nanny. Don't even worry about it. She oh no, you're like not getting breakfast. out of my she sight. I'm, I don't even listen. I'm continuing to follow. Mrs. Nanny Bucklin's <laughs> doing her like chase. <laughs> She's doing like a, a, a very light but heavy for her jog um, to follow you. Um, We're all running, right? Yeah. Like all of us yeah. are going. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. We switch back to Olive. Olive. Hi. You... Um, <laughs> You're uh, on the ground. You kind of like hear something going on in the distance. What do you do? Um. Nobody came close to you in that time. Nobody came close no. to me. Olive's going to keep keep pretending to be uh, completely knocked out. She's going to just hope because I don't think they're close enough for her to recognize anyone's voices yet. She's worried, you know, there might be a teacher, she might get in trouble, so she's just gonna hold that position and wait and see if any of the sounds of voices get closer to her or not. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it, there's something going on, like you heard some, like, people talking. Um, you can try and notice something. To see, like, how far away they are? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um. Not sure. Okay. Um, I think being out here, like, in the dark alone, um, you know, 
You're, st I mean, it, it was still a little scary seeing this giant dog like out in the darkness. Yes, it's kind of a big pile of mush, but it's, uh, it's also a little scary. Dog was I th three times the size of you. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, I think since she's not hearing anything moving closer to her since the dog left, um, she's going to attempt to keep moving towards the greenhouses quietly. Okay. Go ahead. Make another uh, body roll. Quick and quiet, please. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, I think you, like, accidentally put pressure on your hand, like, as you're getting up, mm -hmm. just, like, instinctually, and it's like, oh! Like, it's just, you involuntarily sort of scream um, from the pain, um, forgetting that your wrist is broken, um, and you kind of, like, make a very loud, like, scream uh, for, like, a half second. All of you okay. can hear this. <gasps> Do you mind showing me on the map how far Olive would be right now? You'd be by the North Tower. Uh, North Tower? Somewhere, yeah, somewhere over there. And the rest of the group is probably, like, over here somewhere. Okay. Did you hear someone? Can did I? You, did, can you, I? Did, you, did you? Do you hear that? Yeah, can I notice? Would I be able to notice whether or not that sounds like Olive? Go ahead. A seven to ask me one question from the list there. Hey. Um, I'm so sorry. I just have to quickly find it. Okay. Um, what did it, what did it sound like? Yeah. It sounded like you think it sounded like Olive, the scream. Guys, I'm pretty sure that's Olive. It sounded just like her. Okay, uh, Dudley, let's go that way towards towards the noise, and you get Dudley's the Dudley's already going. headed that way. Okay, okay, perfect. Oh, we'll follow the dog. Uh, I'm, like, course. running faster. Yeah, I'm, we're, uh, I'm sprinting, holding yeah. the taco in the air. Dudley's I'm... so big <laughs> that it looks like he's running fast, but he's doing that, like, big dog gallop, and it just takes... It's so hard for that much mass to move that it's just, you know, it's slower than it looks, you know? So he's, he's, it looks like he's running hard, but he's not. So it's not that hard to keep up with him. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna start <laughs> screaming into the night air. <laughs> you can hear the voice of your friend. As, as soon as I realize that uh, I've made that yelping sound, I'm going to stop trying to make my way towards the greenhouses and instead turn and face the north tower and start uh, walking into it the way I saw the Slytherin student walking into the wall earlier. Um, Olives, I don't, I, I really, I don't know if there's a professor with them or not. I'm really scared. So uh, I'm just going to start walking against the wall and just imitating what I saw this Slytherin student do, but trying not to like really hurt myself. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're, uh, you try and walk into the wall. The rest of you sort of come upon Olive walking into the North Tower wall as um, uh, Dudley sort of walks up to her. <laughs> Start sniffling all about her. Dudley, 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 leave her alone, Dudley. Come here, come here. I got you. I got your taco, Dudley. And I'm just gonna throw it in the opposite direction so that doesn't doesn't bonk into Olive. I'm just gonna run over and, and kind of like gently pull Olive away from the wall and just. Are you okay? Are you okay? Where have you been? Hello, Olive. Are you there? She's gonna keep the same foot steps going so Clem does have to restrain her otherwise she'll walk away but under her breath very quietly without looking at her she's gonna say just go along with it I don't want to get anyone in trouble just got it got it tell that tell I got them it. I'm cursed and take me to the hospital wing okay yep got it okay and she's gonna just squeeze Clem's hand a little bit and then drop it and keep pretending to like 
be cursed and walk. I'm gonna look at Rosalina and give her a wink. And Alexander, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> and then, Nanny Bucklin. Uh, I'm looking Bucklin? around for my wand. <gasps> <laughs> Nanny, she's been cursed <laughs> with Olive. She's been cursed like the others. She needs to go to the hospital wing. <laughs> oh, I should get a water bottle. I need another pocket. Do you need an inhaler? Do you have an inhaler? Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, just like pull out an inhaler. Do you need this? I don't know what that is. What? Are you all right, young lady? She can't answer you, Nanny. She's, She's cursed. cursed. Oh, no. She has to go to the hospital wing. Please make a convince roll, Olive. Uh, um. And you have a plus one to this roll, I think. Okay. I'm on my hands and knees. With the candle, crawling about looking for my wand. <laughs> okay. So, um, Nanny Bucklin, uh, sort of. It'll be all right, dear. Um, she's gonna, she's gonna try and gently sort of guide Olive, um, towards, uh, back towards uh, an entrance to the castle. Um, Alex. <laughs> oh boy. Uh <laughs> try and um I think this would be a notice something. Okie doke. Nearby, covered in some uh dirt, you see a familiar looking wand. Yes. Like that, but okay, we can go. We can go now. Did you find your wand? Yes. You have eyes like nice. a hawk, Alex. That's so impressive. It must be all those. I people. think I just got really lucky. I feel like we all got pretty lucky. There's a um, a sort of shuffling shape that uh, seems to be approaching, very dark and tall, headed your way. The werewolf. <sighs> Lemos. Uh, cast a spell. <laughs> okay. It's a nine. Okay, two side effects, please, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think because it's dirty, it has a diminished effect. And um, I I'm definitely gripping it tight now, so it's not going to drop it. Um... Dirty, I, yeah, I, I wanted another player to take a condition from a partial misfire. Another player? Yeah. Who do you think does? Who, which one? Which of you do you think takes the partial condition? I feel like I'm standing so close to Alex because I'm so proud of him for finding his wand, and then the brightness of the Lumos <laughs> yeah. stumbles me, and I'm just like super dazed. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> It's like turning on a mag light or something right in your eyeball, like. <laughs> Alex, that oh. was very impressive. But it was Sorry, really it just, the werewolves come. As you see, oh. the light start to illuminate. Uh, a very tall, very wide-looking man. Uh, <sighs> there you are, Dudley. <gasps> Hagrid, where? Are you? Yeah. What are you doing? What's everybody doing outside? We were our friend. Our friend Olive is cursed. Yeah, there was a glowy she... thing, and I thought it was cursed. a werewolf. Yeah, Mrs. We Nanny Bucklin, what are you doing out here? She was guiding Hardly. us. I'm, I'm just, just taking them to the hospital wing. This one is cursed. Oh no! Oh no! That's horrible! Oh no! Dudley's not causing any trouble, is he? Um. No, hey, I just missed him for a werewolf. Hey, Hagrid, why is your dog so big? Oh, he's really big. Dudley, he was a gift from Mary. Um. Mary said he was real special, like. Do you think that maybe I could ride him like a horse? 
not like now, but maybe like later. We can talk about it. Um. Anyways, I made these cookies yesterday. If you want one. Oh, thank you. It's, it's nice to see you. Can always bread. have a yeah. little snack. Takes the cookie, and that's probably a good place for us to take our break. <laughs> Did he say Harry or Mary? Harry. <gasps> oh Harry. my God. I have follow-up questions when we get back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I put a pin in that. Yeah. So uh, a good first part of the show, but we are going to take a little bit of a break. We need to let everybody um, grab some pocket mash um, and, uh, you know, make sure that they are ready to go for part two. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of a break here, folks, just for a few minutes. But if you have not done so, please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. Follows are free um, and uh, it makes them happy. So why not um, go give them a follow um, and uh, follow in on all the wonderful things that they do. Um, and if you have yourself a Twitch Prime or an Amazon Prime that you have not used yet, please consider throwing it there. Right, Get yourself some emotes. Get yourself some emotes and uh, support these lovely people. Go give them some love. Go give them some support. And if you want to help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is to head on over to tablestory.tv slash pledge, where uh, you will find a link to our Patreon, um, where we have all different kinds of content, including art done by the, the wonderful Murgles there um, that you see on the screen right now. And um, we've got stuff like uh, lore drops from the different worlds and things that we do. We've got character sheets. We've got um, a podcast that we do. All different kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Help support us. It, it uh, does mean a lot. We appreciate you uh, so much. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight for more witchcraft and wizardry. Go ready your wands and open up your rule books. We'll be back in just a little bit.
Welcome back, everybody, to Table Stories Witchcraft and Wizardry. Welcome back. We return uh, as the group has just discovered a quote-unquote cursed uh, Olive, um, who I think the group has sort of been brought to the hospital wing. You said you're sort of good nights to, uh, to Hagrid, and uh, Mrs. Nanny Buckland takes you to the hospital wing. Um, and you're back, probably placed back into your old uh, bed, um, and the straps from uh, Ray, uh, from Ray's bed, have sort of, sort of been sent over to your bed magically, um, and the, the straps get placed around you, Olive, as you're still trying to keep up that walk in place kind of motion. Yeah. Uh, are, is the rest of the group with me still? Have they been kicked out of the hospital um, wing? Or? I think that they have. You guys probably would have been sent back to your dorm rooms uh, now that you've found Olive. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Olive, uh, you kind of get placed into the bed. Madame Pomfrey sort of straps you in. And you can see that Maisie is burritoed into into the, the bed uh, that she was in across from you. I'm going to keep keep looking vacant as possible. I'm going to try and keep this straight up until uh, until Madame Pomfrey has gone away. Okay. Um, and when she's gone, I'm going to go. Maisie. Maisie. Olive. Olive, is that you? Yes. Look, You're not um, crazy. Shh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm You're not right. crazy, Maisie. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm so worried. I, I'm so sorry. Look, I, 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 I don't know how else to describe it. It wasn't like being possessed, but it was like being under the influence of something that was controlling me. And next thing I knew, I was hearing this music, and I was, I was leaving the hospital wing, and I met a ghost, Maisie, but he doesn't know he's a ghost. He doesn't know what he's do dead mean? at all. He literally has no idea that he's dead. He thinks it's 1705. He's, he's a Ravenclaw student, and he kept asking me um, to get uh, 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 a book from the library for him, which is why I think the other student was fi found in the library. I think he's been like um, influencing students to try and help him find. I, I don't know if this was. I think I think maybe he died in an accident, and he's he's trying to get back to the part of um, Hogwarts where it happened. He was, he was really confused about why we were um, dressed different, why Hogwarts looked different, and I found out there was um, a a uh, a a classroom for um, uh, not care of magical creatures, but dark creatures. You didn't go in there, did you? Well, I tried, but he, I... What do you mean you tried? Kept, well, I tried. I was, I... Maisie, I promised him I would help him. You were going to go by promise. yourself? I wasn't by myself. I was with him. A ghost? Well, yes, but he's still a person. Look, okay, so I went with the ghost, and he wouldn't... But you're wouldn't okay tell now. I'm okay, I just pretended to be cursed because I didn't want anyone to get into trouble for- well, Madame Pomfrey for... said your wrist was broken. Yeah, no, my wrist is actually broken. It Why broke... did you break your wrist? What happened? I... I tried to, um, go out the window of the library to take him to the, to, to the greenhouse and I, I fell. You went out the window? Well, it seemed Why like did you a good go idea the at the time. It seemed like a good idea. 
I didn't... It seemed... I felt like I would... You know, we'd get caught if we walked through the... The... The school. Oh, we did. Oh, you got caught? Yes. Macy. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were trying to find you. Macy. You're not going you to laugh caught. when you hear how many points we lost. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Wait. Five? Ten? Fifteen? She slinks. Twenty? She slinks under the blanket. Macy. <laughs> you can just see her head disappear. <laughs> the, her hair is just kind of like the only thing that's hanging out of the blanket. Macy. You hear like the muffled like. Well, we have 27 points left. <laughs> I can't believe you... You did that f f for me. Oh, we weren't going to leave you, were we? Thanks, Maisie. You're a really good friend. Might have been 17 points. Maisie! <laughs> And we switch scenes. <laughs> Finally, the next day. <laughs> so. In 84 years. <laughs> um, hey, it's not my fault. Choices were made. Choices were made. So, the next day is about. Uh, you can clear one condition, uh, Olive. And oh, thank you. Uh, it's, it's of your choice. I don't know. Um, basically, you have to be treated at the uh, at the hospital wing. Um, one condition per day can be cleared. Um, and um, a new day greets you. A new day greets you. Um, and it's Saturday. It's Saturday. No class today. No class today. Um, so, uh, I guess let's just have each of you roll a 2d6. Let's see, uh, how your mornings are. Okay. So, uh, Alexander. You're the first to uh, wake up here. Um, maybe you hear some of the other uh, Ravenclaws uh, getting up. Um, do you wake up late or early? Um, probably, probably pretty early. Okay. I, I'm, I'm still sort of jacked up from the night before. <laughs> still buzzing with energy. So as soon as I hear anyone moving about, I'm up as well. And then, right, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna uh, head down for 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 breakfast right away. See if I can't sure find everyone else. Yeah, you can. Uh, I think you hear like um, some shuffling uh, on the stairs down from the tower, um, and you see some speech sort of float its way into your vision. Oh, hey, you getting breakfast without me? Oh, sorry, Barney. I was just in a in a rush. Lots, lots happened. What happened? I thought I heard something last night. Shh! I'll tell you at breakfast. Let's go. <clears throat> Down you go to breakfast. <laughs> um, so Alexander's just making a beeline for food. Um. Next up is uh, Olive. You um you wake up in the the hospital wing, um, and there's a, a you know we can assume that you've uh you know you're still strapped in. Um, so I think maybe Madame Pomfrey probably um checks on you, um, but you're still like strapped in. Um, and Madame Pomfrey says, "Hello, dear. Hello." Can you hear me? Madam Pomfrey? Is that you? Ah, yes. 
Hello, dear. Are you feeling all right? Why am I strapped down? What, what happened? It's all right. It's all right. You were under a spell. We wanted to make sure that you didn't hurt yourself. What, what kind of spell? Now we're trying to figure it out. Did... Wh wh what happened? Where did you find me? Hang on a moment, dear. Let me just check your eyes. Excuse the light. Lumos? She kind of... You know, checks your... Checks your dilation of your pupils. The Lumos. All right. How are you feeling? Do you feel all right? Um, you know, um, nothing that a little bit of chocolate wouldn't help. Chocolate? I think it might I think help. I've got some stashed away in my drawer. Let me check. Thank you, Madam Pomfrey. She, like, wanders over. You know, you could probably hear her creaking. With every step. Hip is still making a weird popping noise after the oh. vicious hug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, slowly, slowly, but surely she returns uh, with a little bit of chocolate. There you are, dear. Not exactly a good idea for breakfast, but I think we can make a little bit of an exception. Thank you, Madam Pomfrey. I'm I'm sure I'll be feeling um much much better soon. Let's undo these traps. Hang on Thank a moment. You. And she does the like the old lady bend, you know, that, that like takes way too long, you know. She's got to separate her legs, like, really far apart so she can point the wand down towards the straps. And, uh... Hello, Amora! The straps unlock. Um, if... If you think that, um, I'm all right... Uh, am I excused to go down to the Great Hall for breakfast? You look all right to me. Is that you're feeling fine? I feel m much, much better. But um, I do promise, if anything comes up, if I feel unwell, or or um, if I f um, have any leads on what happened. You will be the first to know, okay, Madam Pomfrey? Oh, thank you, dear, but please keep in mind you're not supposed to be looking for anything strange. You're a student. Right. You're, um, you're right. Thank you, Madam Pomfrey. You can see, oh. meanwhile, like, Maisie is, like, just, just her head is, like, popped out of the bed. She's probably, like, making, like, a... <laughs> <laughs> loud snoring uh, noise um madam pomfrey um before i go do you by any chance have a, a quill and some parchment i could use don't you have your own here oh um you see i must have left it at the common room um Make a convince roll for me, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I don't have any handy. I must have left it in my office. Not to worry. Thank you anyway, Madam Pomfrey. <sighs> and Olive is going to kind of peek on over to Maisie. Uh, and just say, um, Madam Pomfrey, 
uh, I know Maisie's also here, and she needs her rest, and um, I wouldn't want to disturb her, but she might be quite distressed if she wakes up and doesn't see any of um, any of her friends here. So could you please, um, could you please kindly just let her know when she wakes up that I'm all right and that you told me I was okay to leave? That way she just doesn't worry. Very well, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you, Madam Pomfrey. The other beds are empty. You can see that uh, Sebastian and Ray have also left the hospital. Okay. It's okay. only Maisie in there. Okay. Um. By the way, which conditions did you clear? Um, I cleared dazed. Yeah. Um. So you also had a bit of chocolate. So if you had the exhausted condition, it would have been cleared. Got it. Okay. Uh, so your wrist is sort of uh, bandaged up. Okay. Still hurts. Luckily, not my wand hand. So uh, Olive is going to, now that she's made sure Madame Pomfrey will tell, uh, tell Maisie about what happened. I think that's, yeah, she's, she's going to head out. Okay, off you go. Where are you headed? Um... Olive is going to head up to the uh, Gryffindor dormitory, actually. Okay. Um, you head up to the Gryffindor, uh, the Gryffin dormitory, um, and uh, as soon as you enter the dormitory, you hear the <laughs> of Clem. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to try very hard to not wake Clem up. Uh, but she is going to tiptoe. Is Clem she... like a? Is Clem like a? A, a bit like it needs to take up the whole bed sleeper. Or um, is is Clem like a a fetal position sleeper? Fetal position sleeper. Okay. Though she often does do that, like sleep where her like butts in the air and her face is just crashed <laughs> into the pillow. And she's just like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know the feeling. I don't think I know that feeling, but okay. We all know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Ubiquitous between us all. Okay. Yeah, so uh Olive, you see uh you see Clem's like butt up in the air, the blanket's just kind of like hanging off. The blanket's just kind of like <sighs> like blow up and down every time she snores. <laughs> um Olive is going to use her wand to kind of poke Clem's shoulder a little bit and just say, Clem. Clem. <coughs> Clem. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Hi. Mm-hmm. Hi. Yes. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Olive. Hi. You think for uh. just a second that you recognize like part of the Hufflepuff pattern on Clem's, like it's still like embedded a little bit in Clem's face. Clem. You know, like an indentation. You know how, like, when you sleep on something and it's got, like, an indentation? There's, like, a... You think there's, like, a slight small badger that's on her face that's indented? Clem, is... Is that a um, badger on on your, your cheek? Uh, I don't know. It could be, I guess. Does it look like a badger? Yes. Yes, why? Uh, uh, then I guess it's a badger. Oh, it's from when I got rolled up in the carpet in Hufflepuff. You got rolled up in a carpet yeah. in Hufflepuff? Yeah, the um, Hufflepuff carpet didn't like me. And then we got yelled at. Okay, um, do you uh, need a bit more sleep, Clem? Was no, 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 I'm up. I'm up. Um, I need my socks, though. Where are my socks? Do you know socks? where my socks are? Can you see them? Ah, oh, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> uh, where do you want to go? What's up? What's going on? I, um, I, I, I thought you'd maybe... Wait, you're... Olive, you're back from the hospital wing? Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> um, 
And she's just gonna hold up the broken wrist. Ah, oh, cool. Cool. No, I mean, like, it's, does she have, like, a cast? It's probably a soft cast. Okay. Cool, you got, like, a cool cast. We can all sign it. Like, our little Hogwarts family can sign it. It really hurts, Clem. Oh. Hey, come here. Come here. And I, like, gesture for her to come sit on my- on the bed with me. And I just pick up my cat and deposit it in her lap. This is Moss. He- he helps me feel better when stuff hurts. Hi, Moss. And he- he loves- he loves people and he loves making people feel better when they hurt, so. She's just gonna kind of do a little- little chin scritch for Moss. His chin He's seems all to about that life. <laughs> chin seems to extend, like, three, four feet past where it should. You know, Clem, whenever you um... scratch a cat, it keeps going. <laughs> just keeps going. He's also like a really long, thin cat as well, so it's like... And he's been described as rather going. liquidy, right? Yeah, like long and serpent-like, almost. Mm. You're just a little noodle, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah? Are you a little noodle? <laughs> yeah. And Olive kind of forgets for a minute what was going on because she forgot how much she loves cats and loves being around them. Um, Clem, it was yeah. uh, really, really frightening. Uh, what happened? I think the reason the students have been, um, I, I don't know, uh, cursed or, or possessed is because of this student who, he died. He he thinks it's 1705. He has no idea he's a ghost. And I think it has something to do with an old classroom that used to be out by the greenhouses. Um, he told oh, me what year it was, and I looked it up in Hogwarts a History, and it turns out that there used to be a classroom for, um, um, Dark magical creatures. Dark magical creatures? I don't know what happened to it. I think it. I. I, I can't quite remember. I feel like. He was confused because it, it. It wasn't there anymore. But. I don't know how he died. I think maybe. Um. I don't really know how ghosts work. But maybe if we gave him some, like, maybe if we helped him know what happened, he would stop doing this to students, you know? Yeah, everything that I've ever heard of is that they need a release from unfinished business, right? I, I think it's that he doesn't even know he's dead. Like, maybe, maybe we, we have to help him find out what happened yeah I wonder if we can find any like photos in history or how how long ago was it any drawings did um, you say 1705 1705 and I I, I didn't yeah. have a lot of time to um, search other books. So I was thinking, yeah. I was thinking, maybe, maybe we go to the library and we see if we can find books, not just like Hogwarts or history, but see if yeah. we can find something more specific, um, like look specifically for books, um, from that time or, Yeah, um, do they have like records, like student records maybe? I, I, I think so. Don't, don't libraries sometimes save like, um, Newspapers. Yeah, I think maybe, normally, maybe they'd have a record um, of of um, the newspaper from that time, and if it really was like um, a big accident, like a, a fire or something going wrong, it would definitely be in there, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. We can do it today, right? Saturday. Do you want to go now? 
Yeah. Sh should we okay. get the others? Is Maisie um, still in the hospital wing? Maisie's in the hospital wing, and we could maybe um, we could split up, and one of us goes and grabs Alex, and the other one goes and grabs Rosie, and then we all yeah, that the sounds library. good. Okay, I should go grab Alex because I don't think I'm welcome at near anywhere near Hufflepuff <laughs> anymore ever again. Okay, um, how do I get to Hufflepuff? Oh, um, so it's near the kitchens, and uh -huh. there's a bunch of barrels. I wonder, okay. I wonder if there's a way for you to get it for you to get a message in, um, because in my recent experience, going in wasn't a good idea. I could just, um, I could stand by the door and maybe when a Hufflepuff student comes out, I'll ask, um, if someone could, you know, pass along yeah. a message or, or look, look f for her. Yeah, and I'll just okay. tell you how to get in anyway, just in case. Okay. Um, so, okay. uh, you take your wand and you hit it on the barrels in, uh, a motion that goes like, Hufflepuff, like you tap it and it goes like that. Helga Hufflepuff. Okay. Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and Just be very um, careful around carpets. Okay. So I'll see you in the library. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, see you soon. And uh, Olive... Olive hasn't... I don't think we've talked about which pet she ended up bringing with her to school yet, but now that she's back in the common room, she's going to uh, get get her pet that she brought with her. Um, and so she's going to go over to her bedside table and she has this little thing. It almost looks like a little diorama and it's a little mouse house and she's just going to kind of go thimble, thimble. And she's trying to get her little mouse to go into it. Her hand to bring with her the mouse that you were definitely not supposed to bring with you uh-huh yep 100 yeah. percent. she's hiding it she's yeah. hiding it in that common room but uh it's her only little like it's her only family member that she has with her like she feels like her pets are her family and she misses her parents a lot and um she's very emotional and distraught over what's been going on so she's gonna risk it and try and pocket her little mouse and okay. and and bring her with her today yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's like trying to grab a moving cotton ball. Yeah. <laughs> thimble. Thimble. And she's going to reach in and see if she has any more like little crumbs from the pancake and kind of hold it out to try and get get her to come closer. Thimble. See like a little wiggly nose whiskers. There you go. Come here. Hi baby. And she's going to kind of scoop her up and say you're not supposed to be here so quiet shh, shh, shh. quiet and don't move around too much okay okay good girl thimble and she's just gonna kind of pop her into her robe in one of the little pockets um and make sure she has some little snacks in there and stuff and just give her a little scritch between her little ears and say i'm glad you're here and kind of adjust mouse feels like out. a scratchy cotton ball because <laughs> you just feel their like little <laughs> feet on your yeah okay I think that that's comforting to her the little feel of the little mouse feet makes her feel a little a little okay. braver okay in the pocket it goes and uh she's gonna head to the kitchens to go to Hufflepuff okay, I'm gonna head to Ravenclaw Tower Rosalina Oh man, last night took a lot out of you. <laughs> How does Rosalina sleep? <laughs> uh, with with her frog in her hands, just cup. Just... <laughs> but but I like to think that Rosalina tries to to get up early on the weekends and and do yoga out by the lake. So maybe she's just getting up, getting ready. She's like, I've had. A very intense week. I could really use a little relaxation, a little yoga. Sweet pea can come. I can hum some music because 
Well, I could play it on my phone. I have my phone. Um, and maybe then grab some more breakfast. So she's just sitting up in bed, just doing some stretches, and wiping her bangs and scrunchies out of her eyes. And getting ready, getting ready for a day. Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, you see Hyacinth and, uh, um, uh, uh, my brain, uh, Rain, um, also sort of starting their day. Um, Rain is, uh, making her bed and sort of like keeping her area nice and clean. Um, Hyacinth is probably like, um, I think she's probably getting ready to head down to breakfast. Um, she just kind of like gives you a morning, like, like groggy morning wave. Um, good morning, Hyacinth. Good morning, Rain. Um, I had a very exciting evening last night and it was kind of worrisome. So maybe uh, you could take. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that you had a rough night. Maybe um, I thought you could have these crystals there for protection because I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you have a good day. She's... She okay. puts like physical effort into smiling. <laughs> she like scoops up uh, yoga, like a yoga mat. She definitely shouldn't have brought with her to Hogwarts. And Sweet Pea, in the other hand, she's gonna just get ready to, to leave that hostile situation. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, you're getting like looks from all the Hufflepuffs, like as you're leaving. <laughs> like people are a little miffed. I'm in like a, I'm in like this, but like also yoga pants. <laughs> Cause it was a very busy night last night for Hufflepuffs. It was like oh. the al the alarms have been like sounded, right? <laughs> God, that was the alarms story. were sounded last night as your friends <laughs> totally <laughs> broke into the Hufflepuff common room in dormitory. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so Hyacinth's like trying to be nice, but you can see like she's like really tired, you know, even more tired looking than normal. Um, and like <laughs> there's, there's, you're getting a lot of like looks. I'm mm -hmm. really sorry. About last night, danger in the, in the castle. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good day. I'm really sorry. Maybe take a nap. It's a Saturday. <laughs> or not. <sighs> okay. Well, if I can just get out of here, then I can get into a better mood and into a place where not everybody doesn't like me. Uh, if anybody wants to do yoga, I'll be down at the lake. Uh... No one? Go ahead and make okay. a convince roll with, uh, we'll say a minus two forward. <laughs> Can you imagine sounding an alarm in the first week of school, waking everybody up in your house and then, and in the middle of the to night? And convince them to do yoga with you yeah. the next morning. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> There's several people that, like, some of the boys, like, there may be some in the common room that just, like, they say, they, like, mutter a few things, like, first year. You know? Like. Um. Sorry. Okay. Uh. I'm just gonna cr crawl out of the barrel to get away from that as quickly as possible. Okay. Out you go. We switch, uh, scenes to Alex. Uh, you and Barney have tucked into some breakfast. What have you picked up? Oh, well, I've went for, for a full breakfast. <clears throat> every, every chance I get, so I got sausage eggs, bacon, baked beans, potato scones, black pudding. Excellent. Um, yeah. and, and in between bits, I'm telling Barney, oh, there was a, I thought it was a werewolf and there was a glowy thing and there was a student outside and I threw him a, don't tell anyone, but so I threw my wand out the window and then I, be, and I take him through the whole story and then I found it and then he came back up and then I went to bed. What's wrong with you? <sighs> uh. 
I think I think we'll just slowly discover that as our friendship grows, Barney. Are you all right? Well, it's a. Uh, It's been an interesting first week. It's good to have a, a wee weekend's rest and just, you know. Did you tell him everything? I, I, I've probably in our late night chats, practicing with this beacon spell and stuff. He, he probably knows most of my, most of, most of my story. Yeah. You told so you told him the whole thing that happened last night. Oh, yeah, I told him everything that I saw, yeah. Okay. Certainly. So it wasn't a werewolf, then? No, just a really big dog that can't talk. Hmm. Well, as long as you're all right, and you didn't lose any more house points. That's the best thing, didn't lose any house points. Good work, then. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. I think I've made up the deficit for now. I just need to work on getting lots more. Maybe we should go to the library today. Do some studying. That's a good idea. Perhaps no more werewolf searching today. Well, it was, I, and it's just because I, ju I was probably just because I just woke up and, my, and I'd read about werewolves and then saw... You know, student, and it was. I think lots of people would have thought it was a werewolf, not just me. Sounded scary. It was, it was very scary. I, I grabbed the poker. <gasps> I need to get the poker back. The poker from the fireplace? Yeah. I don't need to know. It was because I, I dropped my wand. I thought I'd best have another weapon. All right. Can you can you pass the potatoes? Yep, sure. There you go. Um, uh, is anyone else here yet? I'm taking a look around the great hall. See if I can see any of. It's you've been here for like a while now. Nobody else has come down. <laughs> Did people not eat breakfast first thing? What's wrong with them? Um, well, if, if anyone comes looking, I'm going to be in the library studying. What do we have coming up on Monday? Yep. Charms, herbology, potions. Your favorite. Yeah. Probably some herbology, because I think if I make an extra effort, first a long bottom will probably realise that I'm trying to make up for it and maybe give us some points. Can't hurt. Yeah, okay. Right, well, if anyone comes looking for you, you can tell them I'm in the library. Alright. At least we don't have transfiguration. Yeah, not for a while. Oh, I should practice some too. Maybe tomorrow I'll practice. Maybe. All right. I'll, I'll be in the library, Barney. I'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. Like, stand up and then I quickly grab a couple of sausages and I'm going to head off towards the library. Okay. Off you go to the library. Um, okay. I think we... Uh, we head probably just outside the Hufflepuff common room. Uh, Olive uh, is outside, maybe staring at the barrels as one of them pops open and Rosalina crawls out. I don't want to do yoga with me. Is it? Rosie! Is my... Oh! Olive! Hi! Hi! Hi. No, you're, not in the, you're not in the ropes anymore! No, 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 um... I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I I just told Clem all about it, but Clem and I split up. I came to find you. Um, she went to go find Alex, and um, um, we have uh, uh, um, 
a mystery to solve. <laughs> so, um, can 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 Yoga wait? Is that okay? Yeah, Yoga can wait for a mystery with my friends. Are you kidding? Are are you feeling okay? How's your wrist? Um, my wrist. It really hurts, and it was really really scary. Um, and this has been a really hard first week at school. I did not expect Hogwarts to be like this at all, um, but I think we have to move quickly. Okay, the um, I, I gave these to, to my um, two roommates in the Hufflepuff common room because I'm worried about everybody, but this is a, a crystal for protection, and I feel like maybe after last night you could use it. Also, I'm really proud of you. Last night was really scary, and to do that, even for a ghost, was really brave. Are you walking and talking? You can walk and talk. Okay. Yeah, as you walk out, you catch uh, Alex uh, walking out of the uh, the Great Hall. <gasps> Alex! Wait, did you just come for breakfast? Do you have any extras? Because I haven't sausages. had breakfast yet. So, can I have a sausage? Yes. Okay, I, I'll i take your sausage, but you have to take this crystal of protection. Okay, all of sausage. Wait, Alex, are you whispering? Because we can't hear you across this busy hallway. Uh, sorry, uh, sausage, Olive? Um, uh, no, thank you. Um, okay. I, I, um, I was going to go to the library and study herbology. That's where we're headed. We're headed to the library, but not for herbology. Why are you going we, to the library? We sent Clem to go find you. Um, we oh, have you not to... have the headbanger anymore? No, no, no. Um, Alex. Sounds look. like a metal band. And <laughs> Olive's going to kind of like link an arm with him and start to like power through to move towards the library. Um, mm -hmm. Alex, look. I'll explain along the way, but um, I was just pretending to be cursed just so nobody would get in trouble. Because um, you, you were out looking for me and I what so why were you outside then I met a ghost and the ghost kind of um um like influenced me to help him and he doesn't know he's dead he thinks it's 1705 I don't know his name he's a Ravenclaw student and he keeps claiming that um Hogwarts looks different and there's a uh, um, a dark magical creatures classroom that he's trying to get to or he doesn't know why it's not there anymore and I think that might have something to do with how he died and um, he got really really like really upset when I told him he was a ghost so uh, I maybe had to um, curse him with a year to spell oh. well uh, he 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 wasn't listening and so i hey, but did the curse work it did that's pretty impressive you, you cast a sick <laughs> i felt really like really bad that i had to well, do it yeah but, but like also but i um i did it it worked <laughs> i didn't i didn't even know wait, if it was going to work wait, on a ghost and so, so there was five is like really old i know he's so like a, really old what so a ghost has been so the so the, the headbanger's a ghost thing? Yeah, it looks like, um, because one of the other students was found in the library, and that's where he sent me to go and try and find information <laughs> for him. He kept telling me something I, I was, about f history. Huh? I, 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 I read a lot about ghosts once I got curious about if they slept or eat. So, oh, that's a good let me have a think. Curious about. Um, I... Can I do? I, I read about that. Sure. Oh. What do you? Yeah, absolutely. I would like to use my house benefit and automatically succeed. And I read about that role. Excellent. Ghosts and the strange ghost behavior, like ghost behavior and stuff. Because I was looking at what the ghosts do with their time and that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Go ahead and ask me three questions from the list there. Okay. Can you try to remember some history, personal or otherwise? Okay, so definitely is it dangerous? So, 
Uh, it depends on the ghost. Um, in most cases, ghosts cannot influence the physical world. There are some that can. There are different variations of ghosts. Hmm, um, like poltergeists and stuff can do things. Mm -hmm. Peeves, for example, is a special kind of uh, undead. He's actually not specifically a ghost. He is a spirit of chaos. Um, and um, there's also another kind called a shade. And the shades are particularly scary. Um, because they can slightly influence the physical world in, um, in their, and they can cause uh, intense bouts of fear in people around them. Okay. So, can I kind of count that as a relate... Who do I know related to it as shades and other specters? And so that's two questions. I feel like you answered two questions. So, there. um... Uh, in terms of who's related to it, I mean, I would just say the ghosts of, of Hogwarts. I mean, they're probably yeah. the most knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And, um, I guess, uh, what does it do? Um, so regular ghosts are focused on, like, really specific things. You know, they're, they're, um, they're sticking around for a reason, um, and they're focused on that reason. Um, and I think that that's their purpose for still existing, basically, mm. and not passing on. So from what I've read about ghosts and stuff, this might not be a normal ghost, it might be something like a shade. And they can be dangerous in, in the, the, the... Like most kind of ghosts and stuff, they, they're, they're like... They, they have a reason to stay. So for the house ghosts, it's probably... They want to see their house do well, so they stay around and stay in the castle and stuff. And if you said that, that maybe he got hurt or something, maybe he wants... Like the, the the truth or 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 something, but we should be very careful. We should we could maybe ask some of the other ghosts about it. You said it was Ravenclaw, so. Well, I'm maybe really we... good friends with the friar. I give him mashed potatoes. Yeah, well, the grey lady's a bit scary, so if we can if we see the friar, we can maybe ask. But I, I think we can probably read more about the, the the stuff you were talking about with 300, 300 years ago and stuff. Yeah, um, I was thinking maybe the library would have, um, like, records of old, um, newspapers and things like that. Don't libraries do that sometimes? Lots do, yeah. I don't know yeah. if the Hogwarts one does, but... I mean, I think they would, because it's important to, for, like, t p perspective on history and that kind of thing. Maybe, 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 maybe if the library doesn't have it, we could send an, an owl off, because that's, that's, they don't, they have a newspaper, and maybe we could send an owl off to fetch. Yeah, I could, I could send an owl to my gran, she probably has lots of stuff. She was knows. in Ravenclaw, so she probably knows lots about the house. Wait, wait, how old's Madame Pomfrey? Um, really old, I would say. Maybe she was uh, around when that yeah. wing existed. Um, she'd have to be like very, very old. I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if she could be that old. But she's I heard really a rumor old. that she was around when Dumbledore was alive. Yeah. Um, but this was like three hundred years ago. So she looks really uh, good for her age, then, huh? You should tell her that. I hugged her. She didn't like it. I think I cracked her hip. Right. So, so I gotta let, be let's softer. Let's go to the library first and, and see if we can find the newspapers. That's a good idea. Okay. Where's Clem? Um, Clem was going um to look f 
a few. Oh Alex. yeah, maybe you should go find Clem at the Ravenclaw Tower and then meet us back at the library so that she's not just like alone at the Ravenclaw Tower, like confused trying to answer a riddle. That's what we okay. see, by the way. We get like a little, <laughs> like a sideways flash to Clem, like staring at this, like the tower, like the top of the tower. There's just a statue there. Yeah. Poor okay, Clem. I'll I'll, I'll run, run along and grab her and I'll meet you in the library. Okay. We'll see you there. Okay. See you there. Bring some beans. Oh, I hit um, off. Yeah. Baked beans? Did you mean baked beans? I didn't mean baked beans. I meant the weird trickety beans because I'll see a boy. Okay. You want baked I beans? I tap my pocket as I'm running away and you can hear the rattle. <laughs> oh, a box of beans in there. <laughs> Never mind. He's got the beans already. Wait, do you want baked beans? Do you need me to go? Did you have breakfast? Maybe Meanwhile, we, we get like a, a side switch to the to the hospital wing and like Maisie's like snoring and like <laughs> she gets like a chill like running Jeez. through her body like unconsciously. <laughs> Poor Maisie. Those beans will haunt her forever. <laughs> Traumatized by those beans. <laughs> um... Um, if, if you need me to, I could go grab breakfast and bring it to you in the library. I will warn you, though, last time I was in the library, I brought mashed potatoes, and I tried to be nice to the librarian by putting mashed potatoes on her desk, and she got very upset with me. Um, maybe because we do have to ask the librarian, um, for help. Oh, um, she has to like us. Yeah, that's probably uh, for the best. But, uh, but thank you, Rosie. Mm. Mm, yeah, of course. Um, okay, if you want to have a sterile cookie, would you like one? Thank you. <laughs> she's just gonna kind of munch on the cookie while they walk, and she's gonna break a tiny piece of it off and just discreetly hey, well, pop it in the pocket for Thimble. Where'd you put that crumb? Are you keeping crumbs of my food? <gasps> you could keep crumbs of all my food and put them in a little bottle to remember me by. That's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Give me a convince roll. <laughs> I think you get a plus one for that acting job. <laughs> Yay! Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, which one do you choose? <laughs> um, uh, I think the thing that makes the most sense would be... Uh... I'll say they need proof, and because I have taken so many things from Rosalina over the past couple days, it's not a lie, I really do have a ton of crumbs in my pocket. Um, so she's just gonna reach into a different pocket and grab an assortment of like, there's, there's cookie crumbs of different types of cookies, there's different little bits of toast and bread from things that she's turned into sandwiches, and there's uh, lots of like pancake and um, probably, honestly, some egg crumbles. As we learned, Olive is allergic to eggs, so she's definitely not going to eat that, and I think it's going a bit off. Um, but she's going <laughs> to kind of show it to to Rosalina, and she's going to say, I carry a tiny little piece of you wherever I go, Rosie. I do. Olive, that's so beautiful. <laughs> I just didn't think about it. Kind of weird and alone this week. And it came off my mashed potatoes and everything. You can't do it. It's so beautiful. I didn't understand a word of that, but come here. Give me a hug. She's just gonna kind of pat her shoulder and, and hold Rosalina's head and kind of like stroke her hair a little bit. Oh, I mean, this is kind of weird, but I was thinking I might start collecting a hair from every person that I care about, so can I have a piece of your hair? <laughs> you care about me? Yeah, I, mean, I thought that you were here yesterday. It was so scary. I stressed ate so much pocket, I man. Sad, and I really was, I was worried about you. You can have a hair. You won't cry. You can take all the hair off of my head. head. I'm just going to take one. Okay, okay. Please take the hair. I've been putting vials in my pockets just for this. Okay. Thank you. Rosie. Kill. Thank you for um, being my friend. 
things for me and my friend too. He gave me like the best vibe. Uh, <laughs> my dad's would really like it. <laughs> and Olive's gonna kind of throw her wrapped cast arm around Rosie at like an awkward angle and just kind of rest it on her and pat with the other hand. I'm gonna take both sides of my cloak and like wrap it around you like a blanket. <laughs> And that's probably a good place for us to end it today. <laughs> I'm literally just like at Ravenclaw Tower for the last like hour now. <laughs> yeah. You feel just a hand like, on your shoulder, like is it a circle? sausage? Yeah. <laughs> My favorite greeting. <laughs> just a straight like jab right to the face. Uh, uh, what a punch! No, no, uh, your reaction. Like somebody oh. touches you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, yeah. So, yeah, we've got some end of session stuff to do. We've got some end of session stuff to do. Um, it's time for the relationship end of session stuff. Who would like to go first? Plus and a minus. Who did you go closer to, and who did you grow further away from? <laughs> <sighs> um, I'll go. Okay. Go for it, Rosalina. <laughs> I grew closer to Olive and further away from Maisie, but only because she's in the hospital ring. Wow. Wow. Horrific. This just evens this out to an even zero, though, so please stop shading me. Wow. Horrific. When it goes to two, does it stay at two or does it drop back down to zero? As soon as it hits two, it goes to zero and you get one XP. Oh, thank you. Yep. Who's next? This one's hard. Okay. Um, yeah. I will go and... You said when it hits two, it goes to zero, right? Right. Okay. So... It basically um, never hits plus two or minus two. Got it, okay. So in that case, I'm very sorry. I'm so happy you're back, Scoticus, but, but I'm so sorry you're gonna get my minus one um, just because I think we interacted the least in this episode. And also now that resets us to zero. So now, now we're good, we're good, we're totally fine. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah. Oh, no. oh my god, those eyes. I can't. Um, <laughs> I'm, like I'm going to... Oh no, <laughs> puppy eyes. They hurt my heart. <laughs> I'm going to give my plus one to Rosalina because um, we had we had such a nice moment and I really felt like we bonded and if, if, if we can get through a single episode of the show without someone crying, I will be very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for for crying with me and for giving me the crystal. Um, uh, yay! I love you, Rosie. Thank you. Thank you for your hair. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Literally any time, any time. I've got so much of it. Um. All right. <laughs> Who's next? Okay. I think my plus one is going to go to. Rosalina because she gave me a crystal and accepted my sausage. Olive did not accept <laughs> my sausage, so she gets an angry <laughs> one. My god. Okay. Oh my god. You got the wrong oh girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lexi <laughs> Mommy <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, are you there? <laughs> Uh, I'm I need sorry. An who, adult. Got, who got the minus one? Olive, because she refused my sausage. Uh, <laughs> All okay. of us just got a minus one. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> my sausage ain't good enough for you then. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Clem Murgles. Hi. Um, I think my Save plus one Murgles. goes to. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree for saving. Um, I think my plus one goes to Rosalina. Um, cause 
she's been my partner in crime for the last little while. Save an S, get an S out of trouble. Um, and my minus one will go to Maisie. Savage. <laughs> so many I'm... people were nice to me today, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know what to do. You give them Cry. potato mash. Oh. God, that sounded so incriminating, Max. <laughs> <laughs> it was. You're giving them potato mash against, or uh, mashed potatoes against their will. <laughs> uh, okay, it's time for these class school move. Um, now, it is Saturday. Uh, yeah, let's do it anyway. I think it's just part of the uh, part of the downtime stuff. So, if everyone could please roll plus your mind, and remember, if you still have your benefit from. Uh, from a previous move to add that as necessary. I got the benefit from the last move. Oh my god. How did that happen? She was just so distracted by sausage. I haven't that she couldn't you study. in mind. <laughs> yeah. How did I... I rolled double ones. <laughs> Does that mean that she's like... And so in a coma now? Double <laughs> like, is she just... <laughs> Possible? Am I inept? <laughs> like, her, her brain is now broken permanently. So your mind is at negative two. And I rolled a zero, so... How did you roll a zero? That's impossible. I must have, right? No, you're dazed. double ones, but you're dazed as well. Oh, you oh. are dazed! <laughs> because I... I zapped you with Wow! Me. The absolute My. minimum roll. Absolute minimum. Well done, Rosalina. Oh, What's gonna happen? oh, oh no. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, it's still, it's a minus five. It's a minus five points for Hufflepuff. Um, let's just start with Hufflepuff. Let's start with Hufflepuff today. Oh, God. Because it was just so bad. I don't think anyone, it was like a car accident. We, we couldn't look away. Um, <laughs> the absolute minimum roll, uh, possible in this game. Um, alrighty. So, let's do two more rolls for Hufflepuff. So far, we're at minus five. I rolled a six, so that's another minus five. Oh. <laughs> and I rolled a five, that's another minus five. Minus 15 for Hufflepuff. Sorry. Wow. Cheats. Sorry, Hufflepuff. Oof. Rigged. Okay. Oh, Next. I'm just just double sixes from Olive, though. Yeah, they just spotted that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's do Gryffindor next. All right. So. Let's use orange and red. Um, okay, so Olive gets plus 10, Clem gets a plus 5, so that's 15 plus, I rolled a 6, so that's 10 total, 10 total for Gryffindor. Okay, and now, uh, Alex... You rolled a four. That's unfortunate for you. And oh, a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Minus five so far. I rolled a six. That's another minus five. Whoops. And an eight. So uh, one plus five. So net is minus five. Minus five for Ravenclaw. And now we do the uh, obviously whack hate Slytherin rolls. Because I get accused of that all the time. Which I, I will mix up my dice, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna dance them all about. We're gonna I'm gonna pick two while looking at the camera. How's that? These two. Okay. We got pink and purple. Got the pink and purple die. For Slytherin, so the green did not win, and I've got four green dice, so that was impressive. Let's see. 
That's a three. That's minus five so far for Slytherin. I am not rolling well. Ah, oh, six. That's another minus five for Slytherin. Wow. Listen, it's fate. And another six. That's another minus five for Slytherin. Oh my god. Slytherin at zero. <laughs> What's up, Slytherin? Nice to see you at the bottom. <laughs> it looks like you couldn't Oof. slither your way to the top. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm so the mad. Absolute savagery. <laughs> <laughs> she hit Nega is so mad. <laughs> the, just just once. The, just once I want Slytherin to look good. <laughs> the burning rage. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and let's go around the room and let's do our shout outs and your downtime move. Your downtime move. Uh, Zagaticus, would you be so kind as to start us off, please? Yes. Um, for my downtime move, I am going to. Um. This is how Death Eaters are born. <laughs> 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 I am going to, well, I think I'm going to be studying because we're going to the library, so I'm going to do studying. All right. Hopefully my mind does not betray me once again. Okay, A seven. seven. Okay. Hey, so. Well, that's classes down time. Congrats. Congrats. Who are you and where can people find you and all that stuff? Zagonicus. Hey, everybody, I'm Zgodicus. I played Alexander Pippin for you today. You can check out uh, Table Stories, VOD archives of various role-playing stuff. There's a bunch of shows there that I've been on that you can check out. And if you enjoyed my role-playing, Sector 49 is one I like to recommend. It's funny, uh, but it's also crass and crude. We play perps, criminals in the Judge Dread universe, and it's it's a crazy, wacky, hilarious mess, and, and it was so much fun. There's various other ones in there. There's D&D 5th edition stuff with Spark, Spark of Eternity and 7th Eon. There's some OLD with the nameless ones. And then there's Crash City and uh, Warped for any W space sci-fi stuff that I was in as well. So there's lots of role-playing stuff that you can check out. And then you can follow me, Zgorikus, on all the platforms, all the places. You can find me there. And uh, you can come and say hi. And I will say, hi, I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day. And then our friendship shall blossom from there thank you very much thank you buddy thank you Nega Oryx hi I'm Nega Oryx and I'm gonna do the um, job this time I don't think we've ever done that before but my downtime move interesting so I'm gonna earn some money I think you'd probably uh, the only thing you'd probably be able to do as a first year is maybe like work around Hogwarts who do you, what do you think you'd be doing? I would imagine that I would be doing something like polishing trophies in uh, like old school plaques and stuff like that. So like you'd be working with Mrs. Nanny Buckland then? Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So okay. Uh, make a 2d6 roll to determine how many galleons you make from odd jobs. Oh, 11 galleons. Oh my wow. gosh. She's taking us for ice cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just doubled my net worth. Thank you very much. <laughs> very enterprising for an 11 year old. Yeah, uh, after the holidays this year, that would be double mine as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fun. I don't know. I've never done that before. Yay! Um, hi, I'm Nega Oryx. I was playing uh, the Gryffindor student Olive Everglade today. You can also catch me on the internet doing uh, full-time Twitch streaming. I play a lot of single-player story-driven RPGs, a lot of The Sims 4, and I actually do a lot of uh, Harry Potter-related stuff on my channel. We are doing a House Cup competition right now, so come on by if you want to help cheer your house to victory, or even just see who's winning. Right now, Ravenclaws are in the lead, so yay! Go, Ravenclaw! And um, this show, too. I, yeah, I know! I was gonna say, it's working out pretty well. Um, we 
I also do voice acting and uh, lots of tabletop RPG stuff and oodles and noodles and poodles of cool internet content. So check me out. I'm Nega Oryx on all platforms. And um, come say hi sometime. Thank you for having me today. This was so much fun. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Myrtles? Hi. Um, I would like to... I really, honestly, I really want to turn our group into an official club, but I don't know if I can. What club? Um, I would probably want to call us something like the Misfits Club. Hmm. I think we're we gonna. Can... I think we're gonna need a convince roll for this. You're a first year trying to make a club. That's probably extremely unorthodox. Could be a behind okay. the scenes club. Yeah, like just just the few of us, and we're like, you know. Yeah, they're called clicks. <laughs> I'm. I want to make this click official. So. <laughs> All right, so the convince roll, um, <laughs> uh, maybe it was like really half-hearted or something. <laughs> you know, like really, you didn't have a lot of enthusiasm for it. it I had so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, should I just pick something else then? Is that what you're... Yeah, uh, if you're, okay. I mean, you can you can do other club activities like other school clubs, but uh, your your attempt to create like the Misfits Club didn't work out so well. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that feels like me. Okay, uh, studying. <laughs> okay, go for it. Give me a mind roll. Yeah. Alrighty. You get a plus one forward to your next class's school downtime move. Because studying is probably helpful, right? You are at school. Cool. Um, hi, I'm Murgles. I played Clementine Goosanders here today. Uh, she gets up to some funny stuff, uh, so that's fun. I uh, stream sometimes on twitch.tv slash Murgles. And um, you can find me there doing art. Currently, I've been doing some art for this show, um, which has been super fun. Uh, and um, I'm an animator and stuff, and that's cool. So thanks. And she's a really great artist. You should definitely check it out. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I tried she, really hard. <laughs> she, did, she did all the character art for the characters on this show, too. So go check it out as she paints away at a new project. Thank you, Myrtles. <laughs> Thanks. Luxy. Hello! I Hi! think after this <laughs> I think after the most stressful week, uh, first week in Hogwarts history. Sorry, Harry. Um, that <laughs> I would like to try to start a yoga club down by the lake with uh with the giant squid. You know, like just we do a little yoga in front of the giant squid and we try to relax after the terrible bonking head mystery, you know? Okay. Yeah, uh, try and start a club. Uh, go ahead and try and convince someone uh, in charge to start start this club up. Can I try to convince Hagrid? Uh, <laughs> because we have a, an incredible friendship, and I think that he would be down because I could like pitch it that it's super influential for the giant squid. As much as I love the idea of Hagrid doing yoga, um, I'm going to say <laughs> no, no, he's... No, 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 no. No, I'm going to say like, he's, he's not just like making sure people are not doing anything. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to say he's probably not in charge of the clubs at Hogwarts. <laughs> Dang it. All right, I tried. Let me give it a try. Let me give it a try. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't think I can move that far. I'm inviting him to try yoga one day now. It has to happen. <laughs> uh okay. So, um, you try to convince uh, people to get a club going. Um, I think the requisite is you have to find enough people to join the club. So, you can get started on your club, but to make it like an official Hogwarts club, and you probably get like a little bit of money or something when you make a club, um, 
that's a like a, an official Hogwarts club, uh, you probably need to get a certain amount of people. So you can start and you can make your club roll, but to continue on with the club, the yoga club, you need to get, let's call it 10 students. 10. <sighs> okay, so through the series, I have to get 10 students to say yes to being in my club. Yes. All right. No one. Cool. Also, none of the like magical people know no what yoga, yoga is. is. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I think that's in my favor. All right, I'm rolling my <laughs> soul. Oh! oh, crushed it. Okay, so uh, I just lost the page. What did I do? I get a plus one forward to inspire others. Hooray! That's a pretty big deal. It's a but, very good benefit. Yep. Yeah. I I like I've I hid some ridiculously strong benefits in these moves. I don't know if people are aware, um, but there's some really good stuff that you can get for succeeding on these rolls. So congratulations! Thank um, you. Well done. And who are you? And where can people find you? And all the stuff in the things. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget that very important thing. Um, hi, I'm Lexi Games. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. I do a lot of nonsense uh, and make a lot of jokes. And I'm currently playing through a bunch of games that I've never played through before. So we just finished uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Uh, that was the first Pokemon game I've ever finished. And now we are working our way through Horizon Zero Dawn, which is so much fun to watch me get distracted and try to befriend robots. So if you're interested in that, you can swing on by. I'm there Wednesday through Sunday. Somebody corrected me. I don't even know my own schedule. And um, if you are too busy to watch that, I'm normally on Twitch making a fool of myself, making a lot of uh, dumb jokes or posting incredibly wholesome content with my girlfriend. So, uh... Very wholesome. Thank you so much. Check it out on all platforms as Lexi Games. Super wholesome. Until you click the third picture. <laughs> oh, these are nice Christmas. Whoa! Mergle's just called it whole handsome instead of wholesome. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> Um, thank you, Luxy. I'm Wax Steven. I have been your uh, headmaster of doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Um, thank you so much, chat, for hanging out with us. Uh, we, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the fan art. I saw that fan art from Lucifer of Clementine. It was so, so good. Oh, my good. God. <laughs> so good. Check oh, my out, God. Check it out in the uh, fan fiction channel on the Discord um, or on Lucifer's uh, Twitter as well. I think there's a link to the Twitter in there. Um, go check it out. Um, if you have not done so, come hang out on our Discord. Um, you can talk to other people about uh, all the shows that we're on, and, and uh, there's a lot of like-minded people on there that, um, that play tabletop games and, and all kinds of good stuff. So come hang out, tablestory.tv slash Discord to, uh, to join us. And uh, we're actually working on something to get chat involved in the actual show itself and possibly earn some house points. Maybe Slytherin can crawl up from the bottom um, and, and actually <laughs> earn some points. I'm so sorry, Slytherins. I really am. Um, I feel horrible. Like, every time I roll another minus five, I'm like... Bleh, bleh. And there were a lot today. It wasn't just you today, though. There were a lot of minuses, so don't feel too horrible, I hope. Um... And uh, thank you very much to Luxie. Thank you, Murgles. Thank you, Nega Oryx. Thank you, Zagonicus, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Colo as well. We miss you. Um, and um, if you want to uh, help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is to head on over to tablestory.tv slash pledge, um, where you can join our Patreon and uh, help us keep the lights on. Uh, keep me fed and um <laughs> just uh, help keep us doing the things that we do um we uh we would also love your help if you could uh hop onto itunes um download itunes and uh rate and review the podcast for this show um you can head on over to tablestory.tv slash w a w um and check out the podcast link for this show and um and it, it makes such a difference uh, to to have the show rated and reviewed on uh, on iTunes. It, it's a big help. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your mo uh, Tuesday. And um, on Friday, we have the finale for Reaper Relay, the uh, guest GM show for Mass Effect uh, made by Domestic Dan. 
and uh, Saturday or Sunday we've got uh, Dying Order. So um, thank you everybody for watching. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. Good night, everybody. Later, dudes.